Hello and welcome to the tavern. Today I'm joined by Kai, Rob, and Sam. How are you all doing, boys? Yeah. We're Rob and Sam. Uh, uh, that's short and sweet. That was the shortest intro. What's like, wrong with so that? Fast. People see I speak fast, Glenn. Bloody you got hell, like, like <laughs> intros of garbage. Welcome like. to the podcast, Kai. <laughs> people, people, people skip them, like. Oh, mate, I got some for you. I was when I was streaming yesterday. Somebody came in. We were playing Valorant with Joe. And someone was like. I can't understand Joe. I have a much easier time understanding Rob than I do Joe. <laughs> <laughs> and he was he was not happy. Oh. He was not happy at all. Oh, what the chuff? What the exactly. Chuff? <laughs> that was not funny enough. Honestly, he said. sounds like uh, Joe Bodger and Badger. Joe sounds like Badger. Like, you no actually idea listen. what that is. I have oh. absolutely zero. All right, idea. look up Bodger and Badger. Right, Joe sounds like Badger. He's a <laughs> guy. Are they puppets? He's puppets, but the way he puts it, he's like, ho ho, Roger's got some mashed potato. It's like, it gets proper. I'm going to be honest, that sounded nothing like Joe. No, I can't do accents, all right? Oh, I definitely showed your age there, Rob. Oh, uh, what? 1989. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. Bodger and Badger is finished in like nine, the late 90s. Like. It might have finished then, but it might have started in 1989. Nah, I'm not having this, like. You, you don't believe him? No, nah, I wouldn't. I, I, it doesn't look that bad, though. Like. It was good, man. You've never seen Bodger and Badger? No. I've never heard of it. The guy likes mashed potatoes. And got Scooby. Is he Irish? Well, you get it, because I was like... <laughs> sounds like Joe. No. That sounds like Joe. I don't care what you say to me. That sounds like Joe. Like, <laughs> that does not oh, sound no. like Joe. Joe sounds like he smokes like 40 cigarettes for the whole of his life. Like. It had one season. No, it never. <laughs> it never had one season. You're talking about your too late. <laughs> On IMDb, yeah. Bodrum. Okay, it had one very long season. Oh, how many episodes? I don't know, but it went on until 1999. So, Ooh, okay. what? That's ten years of seasons. Mm. True. You know? It was massive when I grew up with Bodrum and Badger. 124 he episodes. Of that. He used to do all like. Um, Glastonbury until up till he died. People used to look flock to see him like. Is it a big thing? Scottish thing? No, no, it was a uh, BBC Kids or whatever it was. Really? Like, yeah, it was honestly massive. How many kids go to Glastonbury? <laughs> <laughs> well, me. they do now, <laughs> <laughs> but that's because we're old. <laughs> oh, anyway. Well, I wanted to start with your guys' recent addiction to plastic crack, as you've uh, as you turned up today with even more Warhammer. Oh, yeah. oh, I was going to say heroin. No, <laughs> <laughs> so I guess, well, firstly, Rob, have you ever bought Warhammer in your life? No, the only thing I ever had was going up to Games Workshop and I just got kind of scared a little bit. By the aggressive staff? No, but the, the staff goes, hello, friend, welcome. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't like friendliness. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't like, I, don't, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. They're obviously really nice people. Anytime, and they're trying like, to get Rob people walks into, into a shop and they're like, hi, uh, how you doing? He's like, nah. <laughs> I am not the only one that has this opinion on Games Workshop. There's a lot of people uncomfortable walking. I don't know why. If you ask a lot of people that are uncomfortable walking in Games Workshop, so G- I don't know Games why. Workshop just... used to be uncomfortable because like they'd be trying to push the sell. Yeah, stuff. they used yeah. to go really hard. I haven't been in there for years, but they used to be really hard so sell. So I had the opinion that they were like really hard sellers, and then we walked in last week, and the guy was just changed it up. Like. The guy, the guy alone, was just, like, he was nice. We've only we've only seen one guy, but we mm-hmm. like we went in there. And he's like, ah, right, we um. He's like, are you looking for anything today? And I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he just like helped me find what I was looking for. And he was like, help, he helped me like find the paints I needed. Mm. Also, obviously, I went in there looking to buy something. So the difference. Yeah, I can imagine if you were going in there to have a look, you'd be like, you'd be like what are you looking for? And you're like, uh. <laughs> here's the difference in our personality. We went in, he walked over and stood behind us talking, and I was like, I want this guy to fuck off. <laughs> and you're like, he's really helpful, he's really helpful. And I was like, just kiss. Off me. I'm the same though in a shop. I just want to be left alone. And like I was literally like, I was looking at it, I knew what I like, I knew roughly what I wanted, and I was like, okay, okay. And he's just talking over my shoulder. I'm like, I don't care, I don't care, I don't want to know, I don't want to know. I just want to find it myself. He was just being helpful, and after a just little bit, a chat, innit? after a little bit, I was like, "Oh yeah, can you help me find this?" This, but it's like, if I come to you, that's one thing. If you if you sit over my shoulder, going, hey, "Can I help?" You? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit. To be fair, like I, I was like, "Oh yeah, we're starting." I think I said, "We're well, like we're looking at kill teams," yeah. mm. and I said, "You're looking for orcs," and he literally walks over with this massive box, the starter set, and I was like. 
Oh, looks like I'm buying now then. <laughs> Fuck. It was like, oh, there's some booklets. Okay, we'll put, grab this and this. And he saw Kaif with them. I went, did you know this box that has orcs in it also has that in it? Yeah, we you said, can he, get that, but he did like save us some money anyway because mm-hmm. we we're gonna get like the compendium and the I think it's the core rules it's called or something like that. Yeah, then orcs and then other stuff on top of it. And he was like, box is cheaper, mate. Like nice, still fucking expensive. And those, oh my god, those orcs look Duh. cool though, don't they? They do. Yeah, they good. do. Now I've slowly started to paint through them. Hell yeah. <laughs> so you never bought any of you? You've no, never been into I, it? Or? I watched the guys do it. I watched Caves after the stream. I think I was streaming at the time. And I just don't think I've got the skill. Because I think you've got to be... You do have pretty fat sausage fingers, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you talking. You f- Must have. Like, you, you know, <laughs> try not to swear, Glenn. Like, man, it's like, you can't swear. We're past 30 seconds. I'll just dub over it. Oh, mate. It's just... You got you can't even see it. You got fat fingers and a fat booty hole. Like, it's got a Duh. fucking dumpy. It's not just fingers. Now you have a fat. <laughs> no, <you know. laughs> Although, to be fair, when you're adjusting stuff, it's like a bending over. You're like, Fruck. slowly. I'm trying to stop my trousers from falling down. You're doing the split slowly, squatting further down, which just doesn't make sense. <laughs> but I mean, addiction is real, isn't it? Yeah, like, we've, oh. we've seen you. Yeah, but that's what I mean. You could go yeah. down that rabbit No, no, no. Okay. So I was going to say, so obviously Warhammer's referred to as plastic crack. The problem you, is, Rob, I'm going to run out of things to buy. Nah, you won't. You could never no, run I, out of Pokemon I, I, I completely disagree you know, with that case. Do you know about no. Forge World? No. Oh. oh, God. So they make like almost like custom models for Games Workshop. Like you can only buy them from Forge World. Okay. And they're way more expensive than Games Workshop and way cooler. Yeah, but like what'd you gather? Like just one models, but you can just only cooler get them models. from just cooler models. But they have rules. Yeah, a lot of the stuff Kaif, has rules. Kaif, on the website, I think it was it was either Lars or Luke showed me. There is a one model. I think it's like I, don't know, I think it's like this big. Yeah, and it's a ship that that is. It might be bigger. It's a ship that has enough space to hold a load of units in it. Nice. Guess how much it is? I don't know, like five hundred pound more. <laughs> <laughs> it's really expensive. It's like fourteen hundred. Wow. For like one. It's fucking stupid. There's I, th- there's another one that has... Yeah, but can I just get like a 3D printer? Yeah. And then... Oh, that's that's controversial in the Warhammer space. Like, duh. Because it's stupid. Because you print your own... Mo- you basically like get the models from like, you know, the website and stuff like that. That people have like... Truck. Yoinked off of it. And then you just print. And it, it's like making your own money. You're literally like, I print my own money. Bam. And it just prints the model for you. And you're like, well, I've just saved 30 quid. I wish you get an SR 3D printer. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, last year, what, it's an SR 3D printer. The last time I looked into it, which was a while ago, so they might be better now. The sort of like home 3D printers are not good enough yet to, to print the quality of the Wama models that small. They're quite good with the bigger ones. You know, like people use like D&D models. Yeah, uh, they're quite good at that, but for the how small the Warhammer ones, they weren't that great. Yeah, you probably, you probably can't really get right? like the face detail, can you? Yeah. I, I, how similar is this to D and D? This not stuff, at all. There's nothing at all, right? Like, it's it's you set up your armies on either side, you take turns moving them, you roll dice to attack each other, and then everybody's dead. And right. then you go, cool, can you and imagine? Again. It, it's basically it's D and D, right? But literally just the fighting segments. Okay. Mm. There's none of like yeah, the storytelling and stuff. Yeah. And then in, so, even in the fighting segments, it's not like, uh, it's not narrated and how yeah. things go, but you literally have the models and you roll dice and it decides whether you flick them over or not. But See, some people... I could get into that. So I mean, I, no, go on. I, I could get into that with D&D. You can imagine like creating a character, getting it 3D printed. And you know, you get those tables where you can have a cam that shoots down yeah. and makes like a 3D kind of terrain. It's not 3D, but you can, mm. that would, I think that'd be pretty cool kind of as a campaign to do where you could actually print your model, paint it the way you like it. If you know what I mean, I think that'd be pretty. I think people do that. Yeah. I, I, like um, there, there's obviously pop oh dude i don't know enough about it but we could talk about the D stuff at some point have you seen how much I, yeah, yeah. I, I, oh, I got that down now. <laughs> thank god um yeah there's there's like online things so critical role is one of the biggest ones where they stream all there and the dm makes all the terrain and it looks Truck. insane mm. and it's like a full huge load of terrain they like battle arenas and stuff and it looks mental how much work goes into it the yeah. amount of people who make like ships and they're like, oh, you're having a fight on a ship. And they, they've made it look truck slamming. And it's purely just for one battle. It's, it's truck. Cool. You know, Spanio. 
with your on your stream, right? You're addicted to fucking Pokemon cards, yeah. and you and you break them. Can you imagine he gets into Warhammer and he's like, you know, 10k bits and I'll blowtorch my space marine? <laughs> <laughs> See, That's an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, right? Because the difference with Pokemon cards and that, right, mm. is they they are all hand done by you. They're done. They're nice. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Pokemon cards are just printed, aren't they? Yeah. So you're destroying something, yeah, it does hurt. But it's not as going to hurt as if you spent like five hours painting something and then oh, no, just blow talk. You know, well, that's a mean? that's a new stream idea. I'm going to paint this for four hours. <laughs> yeah. the end. you decide <laughs> if I keep it or lose it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hammer, boom. That'd be quite fun. Oh, and we could even it. get Glenn to come in with a hammer just to <laughs> smash it. That would be mental. That would be funny. How it. <laughs> Although the issue is, you need to price it really high up because the models are expensive. That's so expensive, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Destroy so my hard work. Free, the three D printer will save us the money. No, there we go. There we go. <laughs> this is an official Warhammer thing. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. He's in the back, just printing more. Out. <laughs> he's there, like painting a cross-eyed space marine, and someone's in chat, like, "I've never seen that one, Rob." And he's like, oh. <laughs> "It's a new one. I found it in the shop." <laughs> oh man, Christ! Oh, it's hard to do the eyes, though. Uh, the only thing I was going to say, the only thing about that is if you really get into it, take up a lot of space in your house. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like the, I don't know if the models take up a lot of space. If you have a lot of armies. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Cage uh, yeah. 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 I'm not really interested in the large armies. I don't want, I don't, I don't particularly want 20 of the same model just yeah. to fill it out, you know? I like You're this kill team now. shit. You're saying that now, but what in like a year's time you really get into it? Then you might be like, maybe I should get the whole fucking Mate, it starts with a little uh, unit um, of five. <laughs> then you have two units. Then you have four. Then you have six. Then you get to ten. Then you're like, oh, I want a couple of tanks. And all of a sudden, you're buying these huge fucking monoliths. Then that you they can paint. update all the units you've already got. <laughs> and all of those go in the bin and you buy brand, brand new ones. Yeah, Mate, exactly. I got five of those, uh, like... Vo Voltan uh, Berserkers, right? Yeah. And I think mean, once I got to the fifth one, I was like, oh, this is the best one I've done. I'm going to trash the previous four. <laughs> Mate, I finished painting the third one. I was like, yeah, this looks pretty good. I looked at my first one I went, and I've like painted it black and started going back over it again just to like make it look better. Mm -hmm. it's, and it does compared to how it used to look with the googly eyes and everything. It looks way better. But <laughs> Wait, are you painting it black or do you spray it black again? I painted it black. Oh, that's going to... That took a while. Oh, that's well, going to get, get bulky, that is. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you just painted over it. It's, it's gonna, gonna look a like a chunky model, like. What, what I'm getting from it's this got a is fucking layer of cheese on it now. <laughs> what I'm getting from this, can I blow torch one of your things you didn't like then? <laughs> For the right price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the right price so I can just come in my blow torch? So like, I can actually justify Caitlin to get a blow torch. Like, like, destroy Cap's <laughs> model. <laughs> It'd be, just, painful. I hate it'd be painful. Yeah. Pain. Five oh, it'd be fucking painful. You, you like, killing one of those models after I spent like two to three hours on it, that, it's yeah. gonna hurt. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I don't consider it like Pokemon cards because you're ripping something that's been printed for you. But you but, have spent, like, you, surely you've spent well over a grand on Pokemon cards. Yeah, oh, yeah easy. I should go with that. Like, Is it, it oh, we go, I'm pretty sure that. he's got stand numbers. Yeah, I've got, um, I collect them as well. You like did it in private. I had to go pick up. Go on, go on. Tell us how much you spent. I will tell you the number, but you can't put it in the podcast. And you, you got to promise this won't go in the podcast. I'll tell you the number. Wait, why not? Because Rob's I just don't say want it, people to know the number. I'm going to blank out the number. Okay. And on, you'll just like, have our reactions to it. Most people can guess, right? Because they, if they watch a stream every day, they see how many packs they're coming in with, right? He's got his own in his house before the whole streaming thing. He has, a whole, he has so many Pokemon cards. Kate oh. said that there's literally like Pokemon cards hidden everywhere. As in like, <laughs> that she'll go behind he's the got, camera I've and there's got, a bunch of different he's ones. He's 30,000 cards that I'm going to sell in bulks and all commons or uncommons. He's, I, he's as far as he has boxes which are unopened. So God just damn. Like buy them to just keep the sealed box on the yeah. shelf. Well, it's a good you thing you turned your addiction 000. into a job. Yeah. <laughs> keep that in. What? The 30,000 yeah. cards. I've got keep that what, what, what's yeah, the, keep that in, yeah. What's the ballpark figure, figure you spent? Like I don't ballpark. know what I see because I'm embarrassing. Like. Hey, on, stand, stand 2.0. Stand, 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 stand 2.0. How, how, how much is a pack of cards? Like right, a five. No, box is £130. Think oh, of it. Think Wait, of how it many? £130 pound for 36 packs of cards. And how many is in a pack? It doesn't matter how many is in the pack. It's just you know, you've got 36 packs and you've got a chance of getting rare. They throw them all in the bin. Yeah, no, but... Uh, oh, you're okay. trying to work out roughly. It, no, so, on, the most important way, right? thing with a Pokemon card is the last two cards. It's so got to be like 10 cards in a pack, things. right? Something like that. Something like that, yeah. So, Stan spent all that on League, right? That's gone. 
at least you have some value because you can resell the cards. Yeah. So it's not as embarrassing, so you should tell us. It's <laughs> a lot of money on this. I actually That's thought you were going to say more, though. I thought you were going to say more. I thought no, you were going to say more. Because the thing is, it's like you say, right, the most of the cards, what do you have is the equivalent of about $30, right? I really don't want to talk about it. Like, oh, okay, 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 fine, 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 fine. What's the most expensive card you have? It's like a fucking Pikachu or something, is it? It's a rainbow Pikachu and it's worth about like £350. That's impressive, fair play. I got two Definitely get a stream gold. That doesn't seem worth it. I got two of them, I'm trying to sell one at the moment. That doesn't online. seem worth it to me. I just think it's because Logan Paul blew up and I don't think it's really the bubbles busted. Like, my, I, I always go like the whole retail value. Like, you know, the boxes are never going to go down in price, are they? They only go up or they'll go to what they were. If Wait, if they mean. keep printing cards, that won't the value go down? No, because they limit packs. the amount of cards yeah. they can print. Like, so you, so for example, in this, and one of them is because Evolving Skies, and then now the booster box, because how many good cards on it, is worth about three hundred pounds. Oh, have they got like a set number of like rare cards that they print? Yeah, and have in circulation. So there's one with an Umbreon looking over the moon, pawing the moon, or pretending like it's pawing the moon. And that car's going for about six, seven hundred pounds. Filthy bastards. Jeez. Literally like invented their own scarcity to the card. Like I don't think it was them. I genuinely think Logan Paul was the one that really blew up. And I don't think I think from then it's literally Yeah, just... but with them having like a set rarity, like it will uh, it will always have value. And it will I mean, always like that force rarity, people though, to yeah, keep buying the, them. All the card games are like that though. Like basically you open a booster pack and say there's ten cards, mm -hmm. nine of them you'll throw away. Like and nobody cares. And all, they only all card packs that one are filthy time. then, aren't they? Yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's literally awful. like the last yeah. two cards. Well, I mean, um, I don't think it's quite as expensive anymore, but Magic the Gathering gacha. has... Oh yeah, but it came out way before. Um, Magic the Gathering has... This is probably more expensive, but it was, it was called the Black Lotus yep. for Magic, which at one point I think was like 100 grand. Yeah, it's still. I think it's still uh, like, stupidly expensive. I don't think it's as expensive anymore because I think... Is it Magic the Gathering has the most expensive uh, cards? Yeah. No, Pokemon. Wait, Pokemon. Pokemon I mean, a card sold for five million dollars. Oh yeah, because well, Logan Paul. Yeah, but I don't think it's worth. I don't even think it'd be a PSA. 10. It was the. Oh. It's because it's the quality of the card. Didn't Logan Paul get scammed on that card? He got scammed on. Yeah, no, I don't think it was Logan Paul. I think he, he, got he definitely on the got. Cards. He got scammed on the. The box, He bought an original it? booster box. I know. Okay, and, and, and it was, it was not. filled with GI. No, that wasn't. Stuff. That wasn't Logan Paul. That was another guy you're thinking of. I think. But like, Logan Paul did get scammed on Pokemon. Did he? I've yeah. Got... Like I Crypto think, King. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was the. So he got scammed again with Crypto <laughs> by the same guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It doesn't matter. People making money by watching his videos, so he's literally yeah. like, "Whatever, I can lose five million to make twenty-five million. Who cares?" But um, I think it was, I think it was like something like he was sold like an authentic uh, first-generation box, but like people were like, "That doesn't look authentic." Like that, that doesn't look like unopened and everything like that. Somebody like fucking re, re plastic sealed it. Yeah. Something like that. They I can, can't they, the only way to verify it is you've got to get somebody from like PSA or something or somebody. They can, they, do you know when you break the seal of a box, it ruins value, but PSA or something as a service where they can cut it open and look at it and then reseal it as best they can and go, this is like authentic. And it's the only way you send things you can authenticate that it's Yeah, it's like, a, sure. it's like a whole job of people who verify cards. Yeah. What does PSA stand for? Do you know? I have no idea. Oh. Like, but Public I know that's the, announcement. It's Wait. either that or Beckett in it. It's like, well, they're the they're the people that like when somebody gets a card, they'll put it in it and then send her off to see if it's, it's really expensive as well. I I, yeah, the wild, cards graded, I got yeah. a, me a really crazy story. It's happened to my brother about this, right? Because he's mm. waiting two years to get his cards back from PSA, right? And the reason why this is. You can't send your cards to PSA from the UK. You've got to get like an intermediate company to send them across to PSA because we've got nothing less in the UK. So he sent his cards and he, after he messed him going, what's actually going on here? And they'll get back to you. So last month he heard that the company taking millions of pounds, sent all their cards, told PSA, like the, the, these cards, we don't have no idea who they are. So they're having to send photographic evidence to verify that's their oh, cards. Oh, they never. mixed them all up, like. Yeah, so they've got, so people have sent their whole collections in with this company, so people had sent in like £100,000 worth of cards, and oh. it's all been mixed up. That's well, that that's company's awful. done so, isn't it? There's, what, there's, so. Do you know you're talking about the Magic the Gathering, and I jump back on, have you ever seen the Antiques Roadshow clip of it? No. Where they go in with a photo, mate, you've got to watch this clip. This woman goes in, yeah, my husband loves these cards, I don't know why, and the guy's like, this is like the Trinity Nine Power, like Black Lotus. And woman's like, yeah, what's it worth? He's like half a million dollars. And she's like, 
for card. And he's <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And these are ungraded as well. He's like, these are if you grade them, you could put the value up. And this woman was just in disbelief because she was trying to prove a point, I think, that how like her husband's been <laughs> she's like, about these my cars. husband's a waste man. And now she's like, I love my husband. Yeah. <laughs> man, you know what? I love my uh, husband. You can, see, you, can see the, you can see the point in her face where she realised like, what she's fucked up. Like, yeah. Because like, they just can't mental. fathom it. They, it's like, they can't fathom it. They. I suppose if you went, oh yeah, this fucking shiny piece of paper is worth half a million. Your partner would go, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. yeah, but then you could say about anything. Why should a teapot made by some fucking famous designer go for like $100,000 or something like yeah, that? Yeah, no, like any, yeah, anything in our value. That's yeah. why you mm. justifiably your wife would be like, you sound like a fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't be asked. Like, I'm, I'm lucky Kate understands the addiction, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> she's got, she, 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 she tolerates it. Yeah. Well, she's got a Lego addiction, so. Lego. Have you not seen her Lego? No. Oh, she's no got like way. Ford's hammer. She's got build up like the Sanctum from Doctor Strange. That's way that. cooler than your Pokemon. That cards. is way <laughs> it's, it's, got to, it's got to the point where, like, our whole games room that we built, right, has like minecraft lego marvel lego our living room's got like fucking yoda holding a fucking lightsaber and all this like i always wanted to buy the death star but it's like six seven hundred pounds that would insane. be a good stream though for that like on the salt readers yeah. just like build a death star or something like yeah but build... what it would take you an Hours. hour max it's no, longer is it no it's it, really way long way oh, longer okay. mate there's like for the i think for the like really big ones people spend weeks building them oh okay because there's, mm. there's so many intricate little parts to it. It's not and, like they're, they, yeah. and they're all little blocks to build this huge thing. It's like it's like with the Warhammer we've got. Like imagine doing that but for something huge. It just building it alone would probably take you fucking hours and hours. Oh, okay. For, as in for Warhammer, then Peyton. But for Lego, it, they're literally all little blocks. Oh god. I've just, I've built ones before and it's taken me like an hour or two to build something that's like, I don't know, this big. It, it's not even like proper Lego. It's like smaller bits as well yeah. you've never oh, seen before okay. as a kid. Like you're talking about like shaped at weird angles and you've got like fidget around, you've got special tools. It's it's crazy. I she like got a, them built. Like yeah, I'll display. send a picture when I get back. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Have you is. seen have you seen the like walls people have where it's just like a normal wall, but they've like cut a hole out of it mm. and then built Lego in it? Yeah. So it's like a it's fucking sick. Oh, I mean, is that there's one where somebody's built a house with the fake like fake pillars and they open it and there's yeah. like little Lego scenes. That's there. so cool. It's uh, it's cool, man. Didn't uh, nice. Jake Paul had a house like that? Probably. Probably it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's oh, like, it, oh, it, this it, is it, so it. cool. A box and <laughs> you were like, oh, this is so cool. I was like, Jake Paul's got one of those. You're like, it's not cool anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically why you just did. Is like, Jake Paul cool though? Is he no. Jake nah. Paul's ever done cool? He's like <laughs> the real Jake Logan brother. Like, you know it's Hey, they're both for rejects. a reject Logan brother he's doing alright in life like. I mean, he probably is yeah <laughs> the rich reject yeah. yeah he is a <laughs> fucking what, what, he, right, full on millionaire you put life as a monetary value of money mm. I think he's probably surrounded by people that just don't care about him and just there for the money yeah but he at 30 he can just go I'm done and then yeah. and then still have no friends of his life yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just uh, like I just don't get it like I don't I, I don't like Jake Paul but that's just me personally yeah. I, to be honest I I didn't like either. And then I started liking Logan mm -hmm. more. And then this whole stuff went on. And I'm like, uh. Yeah, Logan was in a And then good he's a good wrestler. Arc. And I'm like, uh. He was on a good redeem arc, like, you know. And I think he was doing a lot of stuff. When Recently, he was like, then, yeah. like the when, collabs of the side men and then the wrestling stuff. You're like, oh, when did the cool When did the suicide forest happen? Oh, like oh, four or five yeah. years ago. Yeah. Was that the start of 2019? Or start of 2018. I think it was before that, wasn't it? I think it was before that. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave the camera on you guys and have a look. Because, like, you know, what was it CryptoZoo? When did that happen? 2022? Or 2021? Last year. Last, yeah. Uh, yeah, they've been investigating it since like last year, haven't they? Okay. So it really didn't change at all. Really? Uh, no. I think it was 2018. Just, 2018, okay. Just did a good the job of like. Forest changing his public see that he just ruined that fucking alien hat for everyone oh, no, 2017 to 2018 <laughs> like I had to throw it was 17 to 18 it. was that <laughs> okay so it was about well oh, fuck, six years ago because we're in 2023 now and we're far five years you, ago do you think the pandemic six. helped him because is it 2017 or 2018 2017 oh, okay. to 2018 well he was the I think it came out in 17 and then the controversy carried on to 18 Apparent, according to Wikipedia, well, it, was it just in, says... It was the January. It was like, it was the start of the new year, wasn't it? Well, it just says 2017 to 2018, Suicide Forest con 
controversy. Oh, wait, actually, December 31st, 2017, yeah. he oh, released you the video. Okay. And then it went on. I don't yeah. understand what makes you think you're in a forest where that happens and you think, I'm going to just film it. I just can't fathom it in my head. Because people they, used to do, they used to do daily vlogs, right? Yeah. you got to bear in mind, long, right? Long it's time. called the suicide forest. It's very likely it was like, oh, fuck. we could find a body that would make for content. Yeah. But don't show it. Did they not show it all? I never, I'm like, he, he showed it and he didn't show the, the, the face, right? Sorry. It's something like what? that. So <laughs> I looked up PSA because I wanted to know what it stood for. Yeah. Uh, I just typed, what does PSA stand for? Prostate specific antigen. And I was like, that's not what I was looking for at all. <laughs> I was like, that's butthole stuff. <laughs> I was like, that's not Pokemon guys. Glenn will be asking you for that link later. I'll let you know. Why? Let me finger your ass. Like. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> says, says the guy who like publicly talks about getting fisted getting on the radio. Like. I'm just comfortable with me. I don't really give a shit. Like. That's fair. Uh, That's fair. Um, you go red. It's the oh, socket lot, like. okay. So BGS Beckett Grading Services. Yeah. CGC Certified Guarantee Company. And then PSA. Do you want to give her a, a guess what it might stand for? Professional. I don't know. Something association. Signature association oh. or something. What do you think it might be? I got a fucking school no idea. Like. Professional sports authentication. Oh, yeah, because oh, they, they, they've done the baseball cards. Yeah. Be pretty uh, I don't, uh, That's fucking what. I, I looked around and went, that doesn't seem real. I think Pokemon yeah, cards, yeah. sports, nice one. I think it's because the thing is, PSA isn't the best. I think if you get a PSA 10, the best thing you do is you send it to Beckett. I think Beckett is the creme de la creme of like that. You want a black label from there and your card jumps up in value significantly. Uh, okay. See that Rainbow Pikachu I was telling you about, right? Uh -huh. So if you get that in a good grade, it's like four or five hundred pound, right? But if you get a Beckett that's got 10 for center on 10 for surfaces, 10 for corner, it's a five thousand pound card. Wow. That's a significant jump what you're talking about and having a Beckett label on it. Fair play. I know too much about Pokemon cards. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't know way too much about we'll Pokemon cards. We turn our plastic crack it, into. We? Wait, let's just get Rob of his cards. Yeah. I start, it's plastic always, uh, crack. I uh, said crap. <laughs> a plastic <laughs> crack. Paper crack. <laughs> yeah. But the, the plastic stuff is better down the line, right? Because I still think with potential, I think it's good content for the channel, it's good content for you, and it's fun to do. But they, we, Dale and Debs and Sam have created their D&D characters. I still think it would be pretty cool if you could take one of Ebsy's illustration, 3D print it, get it painted, have it ready for like a, a one-shot D&D well, campaign. There's like. websites that you like design your character on there and then they'll send you out the models. See, that's... that's, that's I got that from my little, a little goblin. It's like that big. It's fucking yeah, tiny. There's... um. But you could get it printed bigger if you wanted, though, couldn't you? Yeah. Oh, I need the 3D model. There's um the... So critical role, the thing I was saying earlier. Um, not only do they do the maps and everything, they all have their like own models of their characters that they've made and everything and this it's just fucking sick i think wow. uh i think a lot of people have kind of had like miniatures of their their characters and stuff but it's always been really interesting didn't you at one point have one of yours two talking to dale dale's just walked in so hello why well, he yeah. smashes just, a I cheeseburger just, i just think like do you know you, you talk about D, D, right it's worth asking the viewers that watch this podcast right obviously i enjoy seeing it right but you go down the route, obviously, we are Salt Raiders, we are a business, we try to keep ourselves afloat with doing stuff. Can you imagine doing like a D&D &D campaign where you've got like a long one and you could like look at merchandise for Kaif and go, oh, you can buy Kaif's goblin figure. Do you know what I mean? Like stuff like that would be pretty cool down the line. I mean, you know what I mean? F funnily enough, the exact, so Critical Role again, released like a thing on Kickstarter where it's like, you can buy a, a box of all the miniatures from it. Yeah. So it's exactly the same. I remember buying one, or oh, I remember f like back in ages ago, I don't know where the fucking models are. They, I don't know if they got sent to me, but it was literally of each of the different characters. So it's, people do that. I think that's and pretty it's cool. Fucking sick. I think that's pretty cool. Like I think, I know, I know I've met people ask for SR, D and D. Like I think. Yeah. It's pretty good. cool when it acts like this. I did I try it once and uh, yeah, not a lot of people turned up. <laughs> Is it, is it not one of those things or like um 
if I was going to watch D&D campaign, right, mm-hmm. and I was going to watch it for the first mm-hmm. time, if somebody condensed that, like, three hour session into, like, a nice... 30 minute video with all the best bits because you know in D&D there's a whole bit you've got to roll and you've got to wait then the DM's collecting their thoughts you cut that out I think the content alone yeah but that's the, that's the YouTube experience isn't it yeah as a streaming experience it was like uh, really just not well received I think doing it in person and having it all somewhat professionally like you mm-hmm. know where you've got cameras on each of the different people microphones all set up and everything like that I think it would be better received then because it's more of like a like a story being well as Rob said it's sort of like a story and people can sit and watch the entire thing but I don't know when it when it's sort of um not quite done professionally if you can feel a bit like with people who are learning you can feel quite disjointed where people don't really know what's going on and um you probably need know, someone who's fine like balance. really charismatic to be the dm right yeah that's, that's the that thing makes, isn't it? Uh, I none of us then no i think <laughs> I, I, I literally think you need to interview for a good uh dm like you actually pay a, a proper dm like to come in and actually get it sorted like i remember when we did it like we did it privately mm. fucking years ago didn't we and i was the dm for it and i remember the first time i tried to put voices on there was like a goblin or something and i put it on and everyone laughed and i was like Sam's <laughs> like, there like he's been looking forward to this all week he's been practicing his goblin in the mirror I, I literally I, I I hadn't I'd like I, I was I like oh, I should do a voice for this and I was like I tried it and I was like <sighs> I remember what? you just everyone's just kind of like don't do that again. yeah like what the fuck is that what the fuck is that whereas now because like we're all a bit more I think if someone did it everyone's kind of be like eh, yeah eh, people eh, would be, no, be like more because that was it was probably like the first time right we tried anything like that yeah. and obviously it's just weird to hear one of your mates all of a sudden talk exactly. like a goblin like it, with us all making content and stuff like that it's a bit different whereas yeah. like if Rob just suddenly if we were all yeah. sat around <laughs> drinking beers like just playing a game with no cameras and nothing, and Rob's just suddenly like voice his character. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> so like we end up sounding like Joel, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we'd, we'd all be like, What the fuck are you doing, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> when we tried to play D D years ago and like everyone wanted in, there was like fucking seven of us. And I just remember just Josh like fucking min max in his druid. <laughs> <laughs> well that's the that yeah. The the thing with D D is there are two different kinds of players. There's the people who min max who just want to smash everything in combat, and then there's the other people who yeah. kind of just want to role play, get into it, see the story, and then like they don't work well together because like or maybe they do but normally they I, i'd say they wouldn't because the ones like it's like with like wow or single player games there's the one types where people are like skip 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 all dialogue don't care want to fight and there's the others who are like reading the story getting into it and everything and uh yeah but yeah, how wow, wow dialogue two. fucking lengthy though isn't it yeah mm. well it's like final fantasy dialogue which is also really lengthy yeah but they do it in the bite-sized who... chunks for uh for our low attention spans <laughs> nor if you go through all of it at once and you sat there for a month constantly yeah, I mean, reading. I mean, you get some nice voice acting with that as well with wow it's like right here's a fucking page of text yeah that could be condensed that, way shorter. You used to read it all on stream, didn't you? When you well, did quest, well, like back in the day when you did quest. The I think it was the one of the first the first year I sort of started streaming. I came up with like an idea of having a minimal HUD and having this. Uh, I think it was called immersive quest text or something. Yeah, and they would bring up boxes, and I'd like. I don't think I had a camera at the time, but I'd read each of the. I'd, I'd put voices on and stuff like that for each of the different games and they were not good <laughs> but I'd like slowly go through all the quests and I fucking loved doing that and I did it for months and months and it was really good and then I got to max and I was like cool now what <laughs> and I was like can you uh, imagine you're in a dungeon reading like the stuff that pops up everyone's like where the fuck's the email <laughs> <laughs> you're reading all this text like <laughs> well, I think I was a hunter so I was like don't have to fuck party. They're, they're <laughs> off doing whatever. I'm sat in a corner like. Mm-hmm. The dungeons in WoW have much like text to keep you waiting. No, it's not a lot. Anymore, There's the odd really. stuff that pops up with like some bosses and nah. cutscenes. Final, Final, Final Fantasy does it well, doesn't it? They're like, <laughs> it tells you like, uh, you know, you were first time players. Yeah. So they're, they're gonna watch cutscenes as well, 
And uh, yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say you might, you might set him off. Like, well, sorry. you get <laughs> you get God. the people who are like, oh yeah, it's other people's first time. Yeah, I'm gonna sit and wait for the cutscene to finish before we fight, <laughs> so they can experience it. Then you get the others who are like, fuck this, let's go. The boss is dead before they're out the cutscene. Yeah, you do it like I think. Okay, when you do like Praetorium and stuff. Yeah, but when when I finished the cutscene, I was like. Where, Where is going? everyone? <laughs> well, they actually changed all of that now, so yeah. it's not a twenty man. It's like a five man group. Because Praetorium was small. like, I don't know, like and half an hour or something. Now it was Praetorium was forty five minutes, and then Castrum, which was the other one, was thirty minutes. Okay, and it was great. I loved it because you queue up, you get in, and you go. All right, I'm going for a shower. I'm going to make some food. I'll uh, I'm going to tidy up my house, and you come back, and it was not over, and you hadn't been kicked, and you're like sick. Let's just get to the end. Yeah, I'm still here, boy. Yeah, I'm still here this entire time. I'm here for the guy's dialogue. Yeah. And then you disappear and you fuck off. And it's boss after boss after boss with cutscenes. And you can't get kicked beyond that point. So you just carry on doing whatever the fuck you want. It's great. I loved it. Yeah, yeah. And you get a fat amount of experience at the end. Have you yeah. tried it yet, Rob? What? Fan fancy. Yeah, I, I said that. I, I, yeah. I know why people like it. For me, I just... I don't think the experience for somebody first time like me, I'm not got patience. It's no. really bad first time. I just feel like you teleport around the world. You don't get a yeah. sense. And the thing that grips me with well, and I said at the time, is you go through a dark portal, you know what's happening in the area, the, the orcs, like the fell orcs, you kind of get a presence with Final Fantasy because you follow the, the main story quest. You're teleporting, teleporting. So you don't, I don't get a sense because I do skip it. I'm not going to lie. That's my fault. So people that like nah, the first scenes, do. you know, I just maybe should have just skipped it and went boosted up to 60 and went for the actual things that felt a bit more like well, the, the, where the, you were going through areas. From my experience, the because I did when I first started playing, I skipped all of it because oh. Dale was playing it, Steven was playing it, and I just wanted to, I think Harley as well, I just wanted to catch up to them and do content with them. And then I just skipped all of that. And then later, I was like, I'm enjoying the story. And then when I played through it again before, yeah. uh, like again afterwards, I was like, oh, because I'd already been invested in the story. I then went back and yeah. was like watching it and enjoying it. But first time experience sucks because it is just fucking garbage. But yeah, the, the difference between WoW and Final Fantasy is like in WoW, you know, when you finish a zone, yeah. like you're like, oh, yeah, I'm immersed into the zone and stuff. That zone's dead. Like once you're gone. Like you'll yeah. never, ever go back to that zone. But that's For what old WoW did well, though, because you did like classic WoW, Burning Crusade WoW did make yeah. you travel back between the zones. So like you had to go from Eastern Plaguelands, so you go, go, all right, you go, go back down to like um, Taran Mill to give this to the Apocalypse Fairy guy or whatever. So yeah, to in, get. in Final Fantasy, like you, you always go back to like the start areas. It's, it's all, they're always yeah. relevant. Yeah, it was a bit of a fucking meme where you'd go off to a world, a part of the world, do a quest and it's like, hey, Wicked Shores is back. There you go, fucking hit back, <laughs> go back and hand it in and then fuck off somewhere else. Shadowbringer was literally all in that one place. I loved it. it and it was so good. good. And it then was... I couldn't get into Endwalker because I was like, Shadowbringers are so good. Shadowbringers was up here. Endwalker was, was slight. It was literally above and beyond. Endwalker was slightly not as good, but it was still like finishing it. It was fucking amazing. Yeah, I, just, I so couldn't good. be asked to be like, I'm going to get in. I was like, do I get invested in this new story? And it was taking too long at the start of Endwalker. And I just come off Shadowbringers, which was, was like, slow. Yeah. that was fucking amazing. It, if you do, <laughs> the, <laughs> the best thing, the, one of the greatest things it does, like the whole game, is that you will... Well, we were talking about Stranger Things recently. Um, I think it was with Daz. It came up briefly in the last podcast where... Daz said about Stranger Things where you get to the end of season four and then you realize in the previous seasons, they all had things that referenced what was coming ahead. Yeah, so was... it was something about clocks or some shit. I don't know. Yeah. But the thing with Final Fantasy and with their story is that they've made it so that like the story for the last expansion has so many things where if you go back and play through, there's like little hints here and there that kind of lead up. It's fucking amazing. It's written so well. But yeah. We, I get it. I loaded it back up, uh, I think it was two days ago, and I was like, fuck, I want to play this again. I was like, oh. 
Could ask, got... you could ask Glenn like how he likes playing MMOs, like because um, I know how Glenn likes playing MMOs. Just pays people to do. It. Mate, he, <laughs> 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 what, when when we we played Final Fantasy specifically, how many you've done it a bunch of times where we we me and Dale are playing it, and you're like, oh, I want to play. You'll boost a healer, or like, I think it's a healer every time. He'll get up to max by like skipping stuff, and then he's like. Don't know what I'm doing. Don't know what's going on. Fucking here with the boys. Yeah. And a day later, he's that gone. was one of the funnest raids ever. I turned up, literally not a single spell on my bar. Chat were helping me put spells on my I bar, mainly yeah. Lonica. I remember, like you didn't have one of your main spells. Nothing. So literally, as the stream went on, more and more spells <laughs> went onto my bar, and it wasn't until like the last half an hour. I actually had like all my healing spells, and I kind of roughly had the gist of it. I think like, it was at one point we were like, it was awesome. He's like. I know, but like halfway through, we're like, what's going on, Glenn? And then we realize you don't have Medica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just like so you're much fucking stuff. fucking AOE heal and you're like, what's that? Like, <laughs> I, like, oh. I remember like the, the first dungeon I did with Glenn, he had just boosted like a bunny girl and then pretty much AFK'd the dungeon. I don't, I don't really don't know what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know what he was doing he was either. Just, he was just AFK and occasionally he just threw out a heal. <laughs> It's funny, and he's done that like three or four times. We're far nice. fancier, yeah, nice. especially with that, because we like we're really into it. We're like, oh, this is fucking sick. We're really enjoying it. And then Glenn's like, oh, I'm gonna join in, and you know, he's come and gone within <laughs> like a little bit. I get, I get two memories. I remember of like Final Fantasy. I think it was funny. It was when Death Rolls were coming into um from WoW into Final oh, yeah. Fantasy. I don't, I don't even know if this guy's still part of the, the group or whatever, a guy called Kerry's Fang. Every yeah. time you played it, he would be in your stream. I death rolled him, and I'm pretty sure I took all his money from death rolls, or it was either vice versa, and I just remember, he'd just come up, ran my stream, start death rolling me, and I'd always win these death rolls. What is that? But I was just oh, about to say, for anyone know. who doesn't know where a death roll is, somebody will, like, they'll basically mm. walk up, and they'll be like, hey, Glenn, Here's, here's all my money or I'll bet you a tenner mm. that um, like we'll roll dice and whoever hits one first loses yeah. mm. so you'll you'll like we'll I don't know we'll roll f uh, we'll roll a dice and if I have a five and you have a six that means you go first mm. and then you'll roll and I have to you know how in WoW you can type roll and then a number yeah so if you roll out of one to a hundred Say you get 57, I then have to roll from 1 to 57. Mm. And then whatever that comes out, let's say it's like 20, then you have to do 1 to 20, and it goes all the way down till Someone it's like 2 one, of like, 1. Yeah, You do a roll of like 1 to 1,000, and then immediately you get a 2. Yep. Mm. And the next person has to roll a 1 to a 2, and they get a 2, and you're like, bastard. <laughs> Mate, we, there's times where I've watched it where people have to, it's literally flipped and going, and they have to roll 1 to 2, and they're like two, 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 oh, two, 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 and it's back and uh, like because it it shows everybody around you what roles you have, so people get invested and they're like, oh, oh. and like one person will lose, and more often than not they're like double or nothing, mm. and then you just keep going higher and higher. Yes, yeah. And wasn't people, it against the terms of service to death roll? Don't think so. Was it? I don't know. I don't. It, I imagine so because it's gambling, right? No, like, it's yeah, not. It's, it's, it's not I mean, is it? Oh. Well, it I mean, kind most of is, games, they're trying to I, remove that stuff. I right? don't think they really care too much. I only noticed this, right, when I played Pokemon, right, on an, uh, the emulator, right, that mm. I went to the game corner mm -hmm. and I picked the European version to realise that they banned it in the European version. This was like Pokemon Platinum. So I was like, I'm going to get some TMs, boys. They're like, you can't play the game corner. You're in the EU version of the game. I'm like... Wait, does it tell you that? No, nah, basically oh. it's like, oh, the game corner slot is broken or something like that. When you're at the text, I'm like, what's that? going on That's and then people in my chat were like oh yeah american and like the rest of the world is fine you don't ban gambling on it like, well, they had to remove the duel arena from runescape <laughs> what Cause, uh, because it's not someone else though? yeah so initially yeah. it's because it's gambling and it's the same thing with the eu they had to go to court and they had to explain how dueling in runescape is not chance based it's skill yeah. um but obviously most of the staking people do is is chance based yeah um, and then in the end, they decided to get just rid of it. Get rid because of it, it, is it just a loads. European thing, though? Is that the thing? Um, they're more strict on it at the moment. Because even in Twitch, you can't have people do predictions in certain countries. Yeah, yeah. Like, a lot it's of It's the like, same European way in certain countries. Like, they're not even allowed loot boxes in games. So, you know, like Overwatch, it doesn't have loot boxes. Isn't it the Netherlands who are the strictest on it? Yeah. I, mean, I, I get it with FIFA, though. The amount of people spend, like, stuff on FIFA, and then the next year it's gone. I mean, it is all predatory. Yeah. Yeah, are scumbags. Like. Well, there's plenty of streamers in RuneScape which have <laughs> like, gone into like the equivalent of thousands and thousands of debt 
because yeah. they do they literally call it their debt stakers yeah so I, don't, they borrow, I don't mind loot boxes if you can't buy them if you just oh, if you them, all, yeah if you get the loot boxes via plane it is what it is and then yeah. you know if you get the option to like sell the cosmetics for the the currency which is also not bought for yeah like basically how the original overwatch did it then Star Wars. You could that. buy it in the Which original of Watch. Yeah, just without buying. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Battlefront Two, I think it was called. But they remember what was it? Battlefront. Oh, oh. Didn't didn't Battlefront Two of... have like controversy with how long it took to get Darth Vader. That as well. Yeah, but they also had it. I think I think it was either Battlefront One or Two. I think it was One where they had it where it was literally loot boxes, but it was a power thing. So like it would give you perks mm -hmm. and they could upgrade. So if you got, I think it was, if you got, I don't know, say faster shooting, there was like four ranks. And if you got that one multiple times, you'd upgrade it. Mm. And um, the max one would make your faster shooting be like 50%. Mm -hmm. So you would absolutely beat the shit out so of people. So people would buy those boxes. Paid and away. they, yeah, exactly. And they like eventually they I think they like took them out because of the the complaints and stuff. But it yeah. was fucking silly. I yeah, wouldn't I wouldn't like loot boxes well. for uh for like power in game, but I wouldn't wouldn't really care if there was like if it was cosmetics yeah. and you can't buy. It. Yeah, it's not so bad then. Yeah, because they would like they they would incentivize they would still make the loot boxes. Um, difficult to get the cosmetic you want because they make you play more, but mm. at least it won't be as bad. You'd think you spam as money because like. when it comes to money, they're like, "Oh, we're gonna make this fucking hard to get." And people well, are gonna drop. I some think money. that was the Darth Vader thing. It was like you could either just buy it with money, or I think you had to grind for like. Yeah, I think somebody 30, did the maths on like how many hours you had to play to yeah. get Darth Vader, and it was like stupid. It was like a ridiculous Same amount of hours to grind to get it, and just to and it's a Star Wars game. Like fucking Darth Vader is like the coolest shit. So people were like, "I'll do it. I'll yeah, buy exactly. it." Exactly. <laughs> it was uh, it was daft. Especially since, like, if you bought it, I'm pretty sure, like, it'd cost you more than the game itself cost. It's the hardest thing that I found about games when I grew up, though. I grew up with games where you just didn't buy DLC. You bought a cartridge or you bought the thing. And, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, I remember nah, nah, that. there was DLC fucking decades packs. ago, right? When I played the original mm. Sonic, I had to fucking plug in the Knuckles DLC into it. That was, that was a new game. Though. That, yeah, it was a new was game. Was it like a new it was, game? So yeah. It was only yeah. to impose Knuckles into the older Sonic games yeah. because they'd taken the programming of it or whatever. So it was like you had Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I think it was Sonic, uh, I don't know, one of them. And there was like something, I think there was something else you could get where it was like a, I think it was called a cartridge or Mate, or something. if there was a new game in that. put one into the other. I had no idea. I thought like <laughs> my parents born, I was like, sick, I'm, knuck I'm Knuckles now. <laughs> It was, oh, it was cool. Well, I think the first ever DLC was horse armor in Oblivion. It was literally armor for your horse. And then people were like, huh, Pokemon, that sucks. Pokemon did one of the first things, like a patch, didn't they? With a berry patch and like emerald and sapphire oh, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, there was a berry glitch that if your game had been more than a year, you couldn't grow berries. And if you went to like a, you went to get a event Pokemon, it would fix it. Oh, which was one of the first ever patches that I can ever That's think of. Like, uh, Wait, there was there was a glitch in where like you couldn't grow berries after a year. Yeah, the the clock reset or something in Terno Timer, so they made a berry patch fix you could get for a certain <laughs> way. That's but funny. it was genius how they done it because that's how they do it because yeah. the cartridges are all done. Like you can't yeah. really go back and rewrite it. So the the way they done it was they made when you put like a Pokemon or something in your thing, it would rewrite it a little bit to actually let the berries grow again. It's actually quite genius how they used to have to solve these problems before. Man, how how would that work? Like you, I honestly couldn't tell like you. Like you couldn't You said this is before patches, right? Yeah. So I think what it was was they um they be uh, I think they probably just because he said that they it was with an event Pokemon, so you'd go to an area and you'd get how would they put I, I, I honestly in? I couldn't tell no, you. They found they found they, an basically area, they found something the that already in. existed in the game. To use to fix the game. Yeah. Okay. But that, that goes back to how speedrunners do, because speedrunners reprogram the game, don't they? Yeah, when they play yeah. Pokemon, there's a gap that you don't play the game. You physically go up, down, left, right, and it's actually right and program to get you to the final. You're seeing, like, if, you, if you've never seen this, it's phenomenal how the speedrun Pokemon, you don't even play the game, you just literally program the game. So, like, putting inputs. Yeah. Someone discovered that you could accidentally input code into the game yeah. by just using up, down, left, and right, and shit. It's how they manipulated 
how you can catch me in Pokemon Red and Blue because you do a thing like you go to like Nugget Bridge but you do these steps to get by not killing Brock and stuff like that. You go on Nugget Bridge, it triggers a battle with Mew because it programmed oh. the game that was a Mew encounter. I remember finding like, Mew and I threw a great ball at him and it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and then I never got Mew. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, uh, a lot of different speedruns do... Like they'll they'll have documents and documents of if you do this in like a certain order it'll cause this and they have like I know with Stardew Valley for instance um, there's all this theory crafting of if you take a certain number of steps on one day it will manipulate it so the next day will or like a couple of days later will be a rainy day which helps them in it or they're like if i step here 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 and dig here and here it's going to guarantee that this kind of crop appears from here like like an item will appear and this is fucking mental you watch it and i'm like how the fuck do these people work this out i just fucking (laughs) put a couple of parsnips around and go (laughs) (laughs) i'm sure people uh, literally like unpack the game and just read the code that's have more than likely the case. Have you all seen the one where it's like they've got the developers of Fallout New Vegas commenting on how somebody hacked the game, hacked it, sped run the game, and they're mm. like, yeah, I don't know how the fuck they've done that. It's like, <laughs> it's like they're going through the map to the final boss, and they're commenting, yeah, I've got no idea. And he's trying to give technical explanations, just like, I've got no idea. <laughs> I've like, no idea. I've got... I just can't, oh. you just can't fathom how somebody's found this with his game. Like, you know? there's, there's a game, I think it's called Outer Worlds. I, I always get confused between Outer Wild and Outer Worlds, right? Outer Worlds is the... Uh, the fallout the game. It's the fallout the game, right? And like the speed run was literally like, you meet the mayor. Yeah. And they immediately just go bang and they shoot him and they just skip like a portion of the game. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, I'm trigger happy. I kill anyone. Like I could have accidentally sped run that game. <laughs> That would be a funny way to find out. Just complete yeah, accident, yeah. like, like you if, just, you, if you've dropped forty quid on a game, dome the wrong person. And if you, you watch me play, play uh, um, you watch me play high on life. Like, yeah. constantly, you just hear the the gun going. Yeah, no, we're not going to kill him. <laughs> Mate, I walked in yesterday while Dad's was playing it, and he was looking at a guy while they were talking to him, and I was like, "Dad's killing," and he was like. It's not working. Yes. And the guy's like, nah, I'm not doing it. I was like, this game sucks. <laughs> what the fuck? Until you can shoot a child one, and then you're like, did yes. Did you complete it? Yeah. Did you, the, what did you think the, the ending to how you killed the final boss was like? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that just seemed to be how the game was, yeah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I played it when it came out. And I, I, I just thought it was quite funny. Like, all the way through, I was just laughing. Like, Is that the thing where you shove a gun, a gun up a butt? Yeah. 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 Is that when we go into the... Yeah, and it's like, that's basically the sequel now coming. Well, it's not going to be a sequel. I got, I, like, I found... Someone's like, I'll oh, go to the mayor's office. I got a key card. It was like a human yeah. key card. So when I went to the human place, it's like, there's nowhere to go. Ah. <laughs> Game is not looked up. Yeah, but the, there was a thing. You can't fly up to a certain point. You had to jump on the platform. So people came it was up there, and I was like, I kept getting hit in a ceiling. And said, no, you've got to jump on that platform and take this yeah, away. Yeah, there's platforms again. I, I thought it was really glitchy, that kind of stuff. Like, the game crashed a few times for me. Like, I fell through the map and all that, yeah. Well, I ne- like, I never crashed once I fell through a map. Oh, man, I don't know what like it was for me, like, but it just, I fell oh, through I the did, map. I did bug out the game at one point. I was in the middle of a fight, and I was like, ha, oh, I'll save these humans. And I accidentally walked through the portal to the human haven, like, mid-fight. <sighs> so I, when I came back, the entire sequence was bugged. Oh. I had to literally, like, restart the checkpoint, because I just fucked it. Imagine that ruined the run, like. Yeah, I know. I was actually fighting, and I, I think I, like, I don't know if I like backstepped into the portal with the humans. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know that was possible. Por- yeah, you go through the portal when you they suck them out the cage. If you know what I mean. Yeah, and, they- and I was like, holy shit. By the way, like finding the humans was kind of pointless. Yeah, there was nothing, nothing to actually find. It didn't, humans, it didn't like- add anyone to the human haven, mm. like, and just what nothing happened. It was just a collectible. What did you do when Jack Black? <laughs> Like, I have no fucking clue what you're on about. So, <laughs> a lot of spoilers here, right? But the, how long has the game been out now? But I don't know. A month, sure, because I was doing it at Christmas time. Okay, so basically, you fight the end boss, and he's like, <laughs> the end boss goes, what are you going to do now? I have the two people most important to you. And you've been trying to, like, you, your sister's been talking about finding your parents. Yeah. And these two humans pop up, and it's Jack Black, and uh, I forgot the other woman's Susan name. Susan Sarandon. Susan Sarandon. Yeah. And it's actually Jack Black. And he's like, the the, uh, the gun goes, oh, these your parents? He's like, no, these are, these are just celebrities. And the guy's like, but everyone loves them. And Jack Black literally goes, yeah, yeah, everyone loves us. But they're not our parents. And he just blends them. <laughs> oh. 
Wow. Just turns them into a paste. But the whole theory, right, is it's actually quite the thing that basically human are what drugs like. Yeah. The, <laughs> We're the just entire, drugs like people are using the drugs game like. It's based around the fact that humans can be smoked as a drug. Uh, I think it's okay. class. I think it's funny as fuck. Like, because that could actually be in theory happen. Some some alien species could come and just go, yeah, we're going to eat these. Bad words. So, sorry. <laughs> Eat these idiots right <laughs> the um i think the the thing that got me the most in the game that really made me like cry yeah. laughing was the mac and cheese brothers which is the the guys guarding the bridge i'm trying to remember that but like I, I just yellow dudes they, they push you every time you like try to cross the bridge oh and they just constantly go yeah i'm the mac and cheese brother yeah, we're, we're trying to fix this bridge you can go and pass you and you shoot one of them and the rest of them just erupt in voice lines there's like eight voice lines going is that off at the once desert area? Yeah. Right, right. They go, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't, what, you're just going to shoot my brother like that, you fucking asshole? But like, there's like eight of them doing it, and I was just gone. <sighs> Absolutely oh. tickled me. I'm sorry, the bit, there was, there's just so many bits that were just most random fucking thing you'd ever think of. You could find yeah. secret dialogue as well. There's even bits where it's built in if you're trying to speedrun the game. It goes, whoa, whoa, you're trying to speedrun this game? <laughs> it's like good luck and stuff like that. Like, you've got. There's, um, there's something you can do with Gus where you can kill the <gasps> boss before you even do the boss. The, really? Yeah, you know the squid dude in the pipes? Yeah. Who, he's the boss, yeah? You can kill him. Yeah, you can get, literally Gus can be like, f Gus figures out that he keeps changing the names of his children that he's trying to find. Yeah. And then Gus goes, shoot his ass. And you shoot him and it kills him. And then you fight the AI version of him. Oh, that's pretty, that's actually pretty cool to be fair. I'm trying, did I fight the AI version? I'm just trying to think. No, I never. I thought you shut through. down then. <laughs> 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 you know that that thing of uh, the dial-up tone. <laughs> that was, that was right. Right. But yeah, he only come out of his ears. <laughs> I was trying to think. Like, I didn't even notice the names were changing either. Like, someday my chat was saying, "Why would why did the children's name changing?" But I didn't either. But like, I had Gus the whole time because at the time you only have two guns. Yeah, and I was like, shotgun's best. So I can't see how that. And he's like, you keep changing the names. I'm like, huh? So good thing we had the gun because I had no idea he was changing the names. I was like, I'm gonna help this happy little squid. <laughs> I mean, the guns, the guns are amazing. Like they come up with all different personalities and stuff like that. You know, it's a good game. Like, I, I won't. I, oh, I, I don't know. And there's rule thirty four. <laughs> there's rule thirty four of the guns as well. I was gonna play oh, next week. <laughs> <laughs> you actually? Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> it's it. You the whole you, game you, spoiled. Like. You were like, hey, bro, <laughs> I'm gonna play this soon. Shut up. To be fair, the drug, the drug, the, the drug thing though, gets revealed like literally in the first like ten minutes. Like, Sam listened to that whole thing and went, "Yeah, this is fine." <laughs> I was like, oh, "Okay, it's already too late now." <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> there, there's an absolute yeah. time you haven't seen. Well, we played Valorant and I got the uh, be like Ebbs on it. Um, I, I was like, "Oh, we'll play Valorant. I'll get the Game Pass." And I got it. And I loaded it up. And I was like, "I'm probably going to cancel this." I saw all the different games. I was like, "I saw that one." I went, "Huh." I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna play you that. You could soon. play it, but the creator of the game has been arrested for battery. So Why'd I was you, gonna, I was gonna you say about that. Him play it in bliss. We, we I already knew that. No, he's chatting. No, no, he's chatting at all. I was going to say, like, when yeah. when they said about a sequel, I was like, not gonna be a fucking sequel. Yeah, it's gonna uh, be a sequel now, bitch. He's convicted uh, beater well, of women. Well, he's not That's convicted. Is he? He's, he's not convicted. Yeah. He's facing trial, right? I thought he's been he's been charged for it. Oh. Which in American terms means he has to face trial. Oh, right? when they say they've been charged, I automatically go to, oh, guilty. Fair. <laughs> Just because. I mean, even in the UK, if you get charged with something, I'm pretty sure you still have to face, go to court. Yeah. It's just the wording of it. I mean, at the end, of, like, it's been, it's been, um, uh, there's a, NDA is not the right word, but it's something else. You couldn't uh, talk about it since 2020. Mm. So if he's been charged for it now, Probably is guilty of it, but we don't know. But we don't know. But probably is. Oh, allegedly, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't that's what you're say gonna say. Allegedly, yeah. allegedly, <laughs> probably is. <laughs> well, one of, one of the things I wanted to everything I see is literally just facing chart, uh, not actually convicted. Ah, okay. Oh, sorry, carry on. Sorry, no. I say one of the things I wanted to talk about. I have not been able to get away from all the Harry like royal family news this week, and I didn't yeah. know if anyone else has seen that because. I've never really followed the royal I don't, family. I don't watch and the it's news. Just like, but it j again, just reminds me of the meme of the the pigeon. Yeah, <laughs> that, you, that you said that's a good meme. That is. Wait, Wait, which one? Uh, it's basically right. This it's a picture of a woman petting a cat. Is it? Yeah. And there's a pigeon going through her bag while she's not looking. And it's basically the cat is the royals, 
um, the woman is the media, the bag is the NHS, and the pigeon is the Tories. That's the meme. <laughs> Christ. It's just like that's all the news is well, like flooded with at the moment. I, I went to go see my mum uh, earlier in the week and yeah. the interview was on. And I planned to see her for five minutes and come in and, you know, do stuff. Mm. Um, and I sat down to chat with her while she had her on. I was watching it and I was just getting pissed off because I was like, this guy, like he was, he was saying all these things that has happened to him. My mum's there like, you know. Oh, I can't believe he's doing all these interviews. He's making so much money. Can't believe he's going against his family, so on and so on. I'm like, come on. What the yeah. fuck are you on about, basically? I was just getting annoyed at my mum. And I like I was looking at, I was watching him. Because, have you, okay, before I carry on, have you seen some of the stuff that's come out about his book? Like, is in some of the yeah, there's some, yeah. chapters. There's some weird lines in there. Yep. There's literally one uh, that because I go through TikTok and it, it like it's like hey here's a fucking part from the book yeah it's like and everyone talking, is taking like every sentence and then like making an article mate, about it or making a thing about it. There's one which is really weird where he talks about his dick for about I don't know two or three minutes. <laughs> he and, got frostbite, uh, didn't he? Yeah, he, yeah he, well he's he's like oh my my cock is so he's like my penis was so sensitive. And yeah, I didn't know what oh, and to he had do. To put, it was and like something it, like a like, Vaseline. He's like oh my mum used to use it on his lips. It was yeah. like anti something and he or put the vaseline on his cream. dick or whatever it was and he's like it was like a blast from the past <laughs> he, uh, the, just reminded I, of my mother exit was he so opened weird he opened her up and the smell <laughs> transported him back to when his mum was using it and all i could think about when i had the cream out was my mum and i applied <laughs> it to my dick oh he says applied <laughs> it to my todger and i'm like you didn't need to put like you could have just gone man i i i you know i had a problem with frostbite Got prescribed some cream. It reminded me of my mum, and it felt a little weird. It's like, but no, you have to go into such detail. He's doing a biography, right? But he's also like, I want to do some storytelling, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna play some like <laughs> colorful language to the smell. He's not particularly a good yeah. storyteller. Yeah, it's really sad. The what's Vaseline happened I to was him. gonna put on my dick smelled like my mum. I just think this is a guy, right, who watched his mum die when he was a kid, cause of media chasing, all right. No wonder he's going to be protective of his wife and child. Like, you know, that's the way I look at it. Now, he well, needs to make money. The only way he's going to make money is by telling I mean, it is weird, he though. He doesn't like, need to make money, though. It is, it is weird that they've come out saying, like, I mean, all this stuff does, happened so. to him. And they're, like, the only, I guess, the, the only victims that just aren't getting listened to. It's, like, it's, it's immediately, like, from the get-go, now nah, you're lying. From would, it, would it surprise you, right? If they were lying? What, what no. they're saying, right, about... I think they're commenting on the color of the skin on Meghan Markle. I, w I, I would not surprise it me would, if that was bang on true. Like. Exactly. It wouldn't surprise me either. It would not surprise if, me either because there was an outcry when Diana, when it was, uh, is it Dodie? What well, I can't remember. Was, his name was Dodie Fire, you know, like the, the old film owner. And there was a whole outcry that she was going to be a person of like color, if you know what I mean, because you can't mix. And I'm like, they're all yeah, racist. So when, like, when, what was the thing? They were concerned about what the color of it, their baby would be, right? Yeah. I, I guarantee that's true. Yeah, I, I, I reckon it's true. I it's, reckon it's 100% the true. The whole situation from, like, it's quite, uh, it basically just is a person who, in my opinion, has been mentally and emotionally abused by his family throughout his life, through all sorts of different stuff. And he's finally coming out after going to therapy, talking about, you know, the trauma he's got from it and wants to make amends with his family might not have gone about some stuff the right way, but he's talking out about it. And he's just getting absolutely ass blasted by everybody. The royalist is, is yeah. just... The one, the, one he, that, well, the one thing that really gets me when he talks about it is, and I truly believe he feels like this, and I truly believe they treat, treat him less, how he felt like the spare child, he was only there as a spare in case anything... And I truly believe that's true. Well, because, they said it to him, yeah. didn't they? They And apparently it's it's a common thing in the royal family where there is an heir and a spear. So if anything happens to the heir, the spear is there. It's, and they specifically like told him he was a spear. If, you know, there was something wrong with his older brother, he would be there to give bone marrow, to give organs, to give blood, anything like that, to keep him alive. And he's the spear. Doesn't matter. And everybody, every, all his parents, uh, grandparents, like, the queen who's fucking dead now um i didn't know why i needed to say she's dead <laughs> uh just in case said, she wasn't said that he was the spear and it's like dude imagine going your entire life being told that your older brother is more important than you 
just because he's older. Yeah. Like you are, so you are obsessed with the Royals. You as well. Only exist just to keep your brother alive. And if anything goes wrong with him, you're all there to fix it, basically, dude. And then your parent, like your fucking mum, dies through really dodgy circumstances, and it's it's going to have an effect. I mean, there was a bit yeah. about Prince Charles. Prince Charles, there's that whole thing about Major Love Hewitt being his dad because his Major Love Hewitt was like ginger, kind of looks a bit like Harry. But he even says his book, my mum didn't actually know him till after he was born. And then Prince Charles made a quip about, I should really get your DNA tested, really, shouldn't I? Like, as a quip, as a joke, if you know what I mean. And he asked from his own dad saying, yeah. like, that as a, a joke in jest. Well, Can his, you just imagine that? Like, his dad would have affairs and all sorts, wouldn't His mum was still alive. And, exactly. like, he cheated on her all the time. Like, fucking all this different shit come out. The worst I'm thing surprised is, he's not a fucking serial killer, mate, honestly. The worst thing is, imagine picking Camilla Parker Bowles over uh, oh, Diana. That's, like, honestly... The biggest downgrade I've ever seen in my life. Like, it's just wild. The whole thing is, and I, it's just. And then you have like the people who are obsessed with the royals, and if you criticize them, they mm -hmm. go, "Ah, oh, I'm unsubscribing because you're royalist." <laughs> the one, what what the, a fucking yeah, term! The one you're royalist. Thing you've got to look at, the one person at the last century of the royal family, the queen will always be the queen, right? But Diana will always go down as probably the most caring, most genuine, most loving person and who went to charities, went everywhere to promote and get money on for charities. And I think that annoyed a lot of the royal yeah, family that so she, well. because they felt she was taking attention, Away but she was using else. the attention to do good. Charles doesn't, I know he'll probably go with the prince's trust and all that. I genuinely think that's a front for him, but I genuinely think in my head, Diana done it because of a love for like trying to help people, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you know, she went to countries with uh, kids with AIDS, and that the big thing in the nineties that was a massive thing. Like, oh, that it was contagious, right? Yeah, and that you but she was go picking up them. children, hugging them, reassuring them, kids that had AIDS. Nobody would, have, nobody else in the Royals would have done that. In no, case not you know, at all. they wouldn't even go there. Exactly. No, not at all. They probably still don't go there. It's um, it's mental. It really is, and it's the fucking royal family having such close ties with the media as well and then they're like oh we haven't said anything we haven't done anything against harry and megan when they're literally like fucking bezzy muckers with all these media i think the funniest That's thing insane. is that uh, uh pierce morgan's hatred for megan simply because she turned him down yep. <laughs> he's it's done that multiple times we'll fucking feel, cuck <laughs> <laughs> what do you think he's going to do with the Andrew Tate thing if Andrew Tate gets found out he's guilty do you think he's going to backtrack about what he's been saying how Andrew Tate's a decent guy and stuff like that he's going to do <laughs> exactly <laughs> what he does all the time and continue to be a fucking rat yeah, well, he was disgusting the, he human being he was the being. one who ran the, the phone hacking the phone hacking back in the day like you all seen the tweet it was Insane, back at Bradley Wiggins where it was Bradley Wiggins didn't say God save the Queen and he goes it's disgraceful we've got somebody like not singing on Astro Anthem he goes well Piers I've got strong opinions I hate how somebody can hack people not get in jail for it and stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> it just absolutely smoked him like so fucked. dumb like such a fucked situation honestly I oh can we, I, could, like, I could sit here and talk about this for hours. I'm. Can America take Pierce Morgan back again? I know yes. he's ours, but can you just have him again? Well, they took James Corden. I was going to say, yeah, they, no, they can, can they keep, keep him? <laughs> they, they <took> <laughs> keep him, keep him. <laughs> keep both, please, please. Would you want to trade? Would you do that trade? <laughs> I don't want James Pierce Corden Morgan back. for James Corden. I don't want either one back. I think we pretty much have James Corden in the UK anyway. Oh, Is yeah, he, he still doing no, uh, a he, league of their own? No, oh, I don't think so. I think they stopped that. He doesn't do the show anymore in the US, does he? I don't think. Oh I, no! I think he got taken over by somebody else. Right, let's send them both there. Because one of the did you see where he said Ricky Gervais's joke? Uh, yeah, yeah. So he took a well, no. So he said a joke from one of Ricky Gervais's specials, and everyone was like, "Oh, he stole it! He stole it!" And then they uh, they interviewed Ricky Gervais on it, and he was his response was quite good. He was like, "Look, there's no way." Uh, James Corden would have used that if he knew it was from like my thing. Mm -hmm. He was like, what probably happened was this writing staff fucking ate him so much <laughs> that he probably slipped it in the script. Because he doesn't write his own jokes, right? No. They, okay. they have a writing team. So they were like, they probably just pr pranked him. <laughs> They probably just slipped the joke in. He didn't know that it wasn't, you know, it was from his special. Fucking just get to tuck him, him up, like. Mate, speaking of Ricky Gervais, I watched, do you remember the, was it the Golden Globes he did? <laughs> oh, it's so good. Mate, and I remember one of the jokes where he's, it was when Cats come out and he was like, oh, James Corden, this year, you know, 
played a fat pussy. <laughs> and he was like, and he was also in Cats. Yeah, it's good, that one. <laughs> was it, do you ever see the bit when he talks about, like, if the Taliban started a social media thing? Yeah. Like, like, You'd be calling, all be there. Yeah. Region, man. Yeah. And it's probably... <laughs> and everyone's like... Yeah. Ooh. The one where he starts um, Big Enough Apple, and they yeah. zoom in on the CEO of like, and old, just, old Tim Apple, like... And then uh, Tim looks Apple, dead Apple. Apple looks dead in the face. <laughs> yeah, of and then he, he switches to basically being like, "Yeah, you know, you use like sweatshops to build your phones and everything." And then he's like, "He's just like dead by like oh shit." It's one of those where it's like, "Oh no, I know what's coming. I know yeah. what's coming." I, oh, I don't. I, I love the whole thing with celebrities. Like Joe, that whole thing is it. Uh, the when who's put is it Jen Ortega? Or something, the one that plays Wednesday Adam, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And then so she was up for a, an award, right? And the she didn't win it, and the person walked by, and she just like chugging whiskey. But it zooms in on her chugging whiskey because she never won the award. And I'm like, who gets these moments? Is class, like, come on. It's silly, you know. Can I ask, like, do you know you talk about like celebrities and stuff? Like, have you guys watched anything to do with the Rex on Football Club with Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhaney or whatever his name is? I, over? No, I feel it's I supposed see, to be good, though. I see. Yeah things coming yeah. up every now and then from them so oh, i follow both because you bring up how celebrities are assholes right but they have something. been made ambassadors yeah. of wales or something mm. because they've literally reignited Wrexham. the rex ham like they're getting loads of tourists the poverty line is getting like they did the uh, ryan Reynolds the film well i see recently i think it was like two years ago now i think it was called i can't remember what it's called actually but it was like a heist thing yeah mm. and um they provided welsh subtitles for it yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's really it's, he's really taken on the culture. Right? Yeah, the both of them have, are like constantly um, going on about Wales and talking about, it, and I'm like, fucking, let's go. <laughs> uh, hell yeah. That's like mid Wales as well, right? Yeah. Wrexham isn't Wrexham like right on the border? I thought it was North yeah, it's Wales. right on the border between England and Wales. Isn't like part of Wrexham okay. in England? I don't know. I couldn't. T- I think they're all identified as Welsh. Though, to be fair, on Wrexham, I don't. Fair, think- I wouldn't want to identify as English. Yeah, but, Sorry, <laughs> but honestly, honestly, I watched the documentary from start to finish, and the way they absorb the culture. There's an episode where they've got a Welsh translator on, right? Yeah. And the Welsh, Welsh thing is going, these American arseholes have come over to Wales. Like, and they've got no idea what she's saying, but she's literally ripping into them, if you know <laughs> what I mean. They're like, oh, thank you. That sounds so beautiful in that beautiful language. And she's like, they so don't have a fucking... Wrexham is North Wales. North Wales is yeah. it North? It's yeah, right probably. there. Yeah. Wow. On the border, basically. I looked for um, tickets to go and watch some. Zoom in. Is some of it in England? You can't get tickets. Like, um, I mean, I don't know. It's close, regardless. It doesn't show uh-huh. the border, but it's it's basically like on the on That's the edge. Quite close to Liverpool, right? Um, um, Liverpool, yeah, ish. Like Liverpool's up there, and Wrexham's mm. down there. It's close to like fucking Shrewsbury. That's definitely on the I heard border. Liverpool like to consider themselves the capital of North Wales. Where's Liverpool? Joe from? Yeah. Is, where's Joe from? Not Can't Liverpool. You? Uh, <laughs> Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Oh, it might be Yorkshire. Further up north, right? I pray positive Joe will be like, nah, we're the capital. I think every country is like, I'm the capital. England is yeah. my city. I'd imagine Manchester sees <laughs> Did you say every country considers themselves the capital? No, city, right? You mean? Every city, yeah. yeah. Did I say country? You said country I, yeah. I know uh, I purposely said England is my city, yeah, like yeah. jokingly, <laughs> but I might, I fucked the country. All right. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Fair geography is not my strong suit. Neither speak in English. I always yeah. remember, like, I, I went to England to work and I came down ill and I had to get medicine. I always remember, like, them charging me for it mm. i just couldn't fathom that to pay for a pres- prescription yeah it's like Mental i think enough. it was like nine pound when i was there they're like so what are you like have you got like wait a, did they charge you in england yeah, yeah they're like you yeah. got an nhs so, thing for, i was like anything any huh? prescription i was like since when do you pay for prescriptions and she was like are you well she was like yeah she's like Oh, we pay for prescriptions here, and it's like that's yeah. mental <laughs> I, I, I never no fucking like, way do they do that yeah that is disgusting Every time you go Fuck to collect me. your prescription, England you sucks dick. Mate, you gotta watch out. There's Americans watching. They don't know what that's like. <laughs> your country hey, sucks Sam, dick. Sam, Holy shit. You're talking shit. about a country that you have to pay for the fucking ambulance. Like, have you not seen the kids? No fucking way. Not you in England to... now. I'm on oh. about US. Oh, when right. you, but like, I thought you were talking no, about no, England. No, no. I was like, what the have fuck? Have you seen, um, oh, there used to be a program on MTV called yeah. Scarred, which was like, I remember. People, like, fa- like really yeah, bad fails. Yeah. And there was one I watched where. A guy ollied on a skateboard, ollied over a chain, but he just clips the chain. 
and the side of his foot bounces off the tarmac and basically his whole leg just snapped to oh. his knee. Oh. Oh. And, um, he's, he's on the floor and like his mate runs over, he's got the phone out and he's literally begging his mate not, not to, to call, call the ambulance. Because he's like, my mum will kill me, my mum will kill me, we can't afford it. And I'm like, that's insane. L- literally yeah. his leg is in Speaking completely scarred, moving the wrong way. I'll like. always remember the episode of Scar, Scarred where he ollies off the staircase, yeah. hits the bar on the way down and ruptures his... Uh, Sack. Oh, <laughs> the, the worst, the gruesome one nah. I saw nah. is there's a guy on rollerblades yeah. and he jumps onto a handrail on stairs, but the handrail falls off the support, but the support is like a hook oh. and it hooks him at like just above his foot oh. and literally slices all the way up to his knee. So like his whole like basically must like calf on the side is just flapping from his leg. See, the weird thing is, is I can watch this and yeah. I'll be like, ooh. But then if somebody describes all this it's happening weird, to me, like, it's, it's so weird, much it's worse. Weird, I feel, like, oh, it's awful. Right? If you put it on the telly, I'd be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Whereas now I'm like, ooh. There was I'd some get, fucked up. That's the worst thing I've ever heard about injuries like that. Yeah. I, I've never known how to, but I remember watching, like, there was a documentary or whatever, and it was a football player dislocated his leg. Yeah. So they have to push it back in, right? And I don't know how, <laughs> how, how this happened. Right, but seemingly his ball was down, <laughs> and they pushed they it. Caught it. So yeah. like his, like his uh, ball was in his socket. Yeah, and and, <laughs> and it's the one. <laughs> <laughs> and seemingly, like he's screaming so bad, he lost his voice for a bit. Like, <laughs> and, oh, can you imagine? <laughs> that's awful. Just the, I can't. Just that's the, like I the equivalent, can't. right? Of you putting your ball oh. on the door frame and then me slamming the door. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever? Did you ever used to watch a program called Nine 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 Lifesavers? It used to be on the telly, right? And there was one right <laughs> where the, the the kids were throwing javelins, right? Yeah. And I, I've got to, I've got to find this clip after we come off and show you, right? Mm. So they're in school. They run the floor of the javelins. This guy runs to get his javelin, he falls, and the head the javelin goes right <laughs> through his head. Fuck! But he survived it. He survived it. I don't know how. They still don't know how to this day. He survived it, but. It's amazing how I many people lose, lose part of their brain and nothing bad happens. Wait, wait, went right straight through his brain. Right through his <sighs> thing, so he just lying on the ground conscious. They phone an ambulance. It was on a programme called 999. And there was like nothing wrong with him. Jesus yeah, Christ. he was fine. He came out fine. Guy. Like, really? fine. Lucky guy. Bloody hell. That's rough. How right? the fuck do we get on this topic? <laughs> I don't know. How long have we been going for? <laughs> I don't know, actually. We got One here. hour 20. Should we go back like... to Plastic Crack? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> boy. <laughs> I just what? bought three sets Dude, I can't. I can't take the image of a... Fuck a ball go oh. oh that's well, why you ever had your ball like pop up what you mean? Well, inside of you yeah maybe I don't really know no oh, I have like just just like I don't know uh I don't I don't know what the area is called I don't know the anatomy of myself but <laughs> popped up and was like just inside me I was like <laughs> Back down into the sack. I can't say I've ever done that. That freaks me out. I know exactly what you're talking about. And Kate, I, the first thing that ever happened to me was with Kate. And Kate will tell you this, and I'm shitting you not. We were having sex, right? And I was like, oh, done, right? And my ball was missing. <laughs> <laughs> I shit you not, Where'd it right? Go? <laughs> Kate can tell you I ran off screaming, smacking my dick like this. And to get it back out, jumping to get it back out. Kate's like, I've lost my ball. I've lost my ball. It never happened to me before. <laughs> I lost my ball. <laughs> to this day, right? To this day, <laughs> like, I now use fucking, right? I use a cock ring behind my balls, like, in case Jesus. I ever fucking so, have. Like, sometimes when I have sex, it gets. <laughs> 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 my ball sack gets so cold that sometimes the, the ball does, you know. Yeah, I hate it. Go up. The first time it happened to me, I did panic a bit. <laughs> Where's my nut? But I don't think anything bad can happen to it though. I think it just is to protect it. Like, but I, if, if it stays up I there don't too think long, I've ever had that happen the, to me. Um, oh fuck! What was the show on Discovery where they used to show different like martial art techniques? And there was the certain monk one where which they had would the ability to yeah. bring their balls inside, and then they were just st- like full spready while someone just kicks them in, in the balls, and they're like, "See, it's all good. I so, no pain." Like. I don't know if you know this, but you can actually control your balls a little bit. Ah, okay, so they've so, just mastered that. You know, I mean, you could pro- like, can you not just contract them and? So when okay, although so my you, butthole, if, if I put, try that, my ball goes. If you cut your balls right, <laughs> yeah, and cough, they go up. Oh, I mean, that's what they used to do. Yeah, doctors, they do that right? with the, so if you, the doctors. Yeah. If you you know learn to control that, that feeling, yeah, you could day. probably make your balls dance. <laughs> no, nah, alright, man. 
Well, all right, this isn't the topic I went on to. Well, I, I'm pretty positive they check that for like, they still do that with the coffin thing. Yeah, for hernias or something, it's not. Like yeah, yeah. I, I, sounds I, like early smoke doctor does. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I had to check recently. And they I were knew like, They were like, cough. And I was like, <laughs> they're like, yep, all good. I was like, cool. Can you stop grabbing my fucking balls? Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Well, <laughs> slightly better topic than the last one. Yeah. So how did we get to that again? I don't know. What else you got for us, Claire? I don't even know. I like our list of stuff, but we could stop, I suppose. Do you want to stop? One hour 22. You angry, Glenn? Is that what it is? We can go longer if you want. Like. Glenn needs to eat food, so we're going to stop the podcast early. <laughs> 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 he didn't even say yes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking got him Mate, oh. if joe was here he'd be fucking slated I, <laughs> I think that's a decent I've, enough time right yeah well do you want to talk about anything else what was your other topics like he's gonna talk about D D, wasn't he so <coughs> i had i know nothing of that D D shit same i want to read about it but i just don't know it's like they're trying to monitor it's basically it. like, trying to do what blizzard did with the custom games as far as i'm yeah. aware yeah were they like everything that's made after this point we own? People can't monetize their own stuff, basically. Mm. Is it they can't monetize or they have to they have to pay like a, a fee? I don't know whether there is a licensing fee. And something like if you earn over like seven hundred thousand you have to pay X amount. Really I think it's twenty five percent after that point. Okay. Like they're trying to prevent Fail. So the stuff the only two I had left is one was about MSI being in London. Oh yeah. I, I thought that would be good because Rob like is a boomer when it comes to esports. He's very like raw esports is for nerds. So I thought that might have been a good to talk about. Yeah. And then the other one was just about um how garbage the cinema is now because I've tried to go to the cinema with Claire for like the last two months and there's yeah. just no films there. Like, mate, I really? went to watch. I went to watch there, Avatar, like, right? Is it nothing and it there? was fucking packed. So that's the but that's the only thing there. Like in the cinema, uh, the buy a flat, right? Mm. It's literally Avatar, and then straight away it's they're all, all Indian films. Like, really? Yeah, there's just, there's just nothing they should, there. They should reinvent cinema then, like not not have like you know hundreds of you packed into like a, a and just one room to watch a film. But like spice it up a little. I don't know. Have like smaller gatherings of like twenty to thirty people and serve us food. Every man. Does they that? do a, a down the base. exactly. You know, yeah, I've been. Every man does like they bring drinks and food. If, it, if food. it's you know. That Co- COVID happened and everyone started watching truth. films at home and then, you know, people realised actually cinema ain't as fucking great as it used to be. Now is the time to reinvent it. Well, Mate, I, I, was, oh. I, was saying, I was quite excited to watch Avatar until I found out it was three hours and 15 minutes and I'm like, ass. Do you not we, think... We had a break I, up if it was bad. I, I don't think I got the minerals. If there was a break, I'd 100% go see her in cinema. You've seen it, yeah. I've seen it. There was no break. Oh, oh, that's savage. In the cinema, the ones I've shown you before, they were... Really can't feel it. Cool. Table and whatnot. They were incredibly well, like one of the most exciting things about cinema for me was the gallery in Odeon. Yeah, yeah it was, was like nice. you had nice leather couches, you had unlimited food and drink and popcorn and stuff. That was cool, and they've stopped it. They stopped Wait, it, they right? stopped it only, really? Only in Wales, yeah. Only England in Wales, oh, yeah. Okay. But you should, actually, you, that was you should, the best part. Yeah. You should go down to every man. You'd love it. It's actual like uh, it's big proper seats and all that. You get that drinks and slamming. food taken. We should do that. And it's but small. It's, it's a small kind of space as well. But we we haven't gone recently because the seats or anything. It's just like it's it's just no. There's no films. Yeah. Like. Well, I mean, it's like you can just fucking sit there and watch a film on your telly. Yeah. Or you yeah, go like, into the cinema. The, the issue is like, instead of doing something to like revitalize cinema, just got filmmakers good. Fucking millennials. Yeah. Fucking Mate, Gen I, Z. I, it's going to change. I cinema. think where cinemas aren't going to be a thing. I think it'll be from your home now. I reckon. Probably. Because there was that. Well, they've been trying that anyway. The cinema, they? like if it was uh, reinvigorated, I don't know. If it was just brought up and modernized and, you know, better. People would go, we used to go all the time. We fucking loved it. Well, I mean, this this it's still just... is clearly a market for it, right? I mean, Top Gun last year oh, was, was like cleared 1.4 billion or something. Avatar's on its way to clearing 2 billion. So like if there's decent films, clearly people will go. And Avatar like flopping in the sense that they thought it would no, clear 2 it's, billion. No, and no, like, it's, no, it's doing okay. Like. No, but I mean, they don't have to hit 2 billion. It's going to gonna hit, even. It's gonna hit 2 billion. Yeah. I just thought, I always thought Avatar was over. Like, I think at the time when I it mean, came James out, Cameron keeps, was good. He keeps changing what, like, the uh, the break even is on Avatar. 
But considering that he keeps banging on about the next fucking whatever, like eight films, yeah, clearly it's done fine. No, yeah, it's done fine, but he got so salty about when the Avengers took over, didn't he? And he kept like shit talking emails and all this, like our tweets. I and thought stuff. Avatar was still past then, wasn't it? They re brought Avatar out to take it past again. Oh, because, they really? Yeah, they re released the old Avatar to go back. They did actually. Yeah. That's petty. He, that's what he is. He is. <laughs> yeah. I, I always they think really yeah. bastard. But, you know, but co- I think comic book films are like. I was going to say, I, they are they've gone. I'm just, other than the, Sp- the Spider Man film coming out, I just. Oh, Quantum Manium, Ant Man and Quantum Manium. Quantum Manium looks, cool. looks good. I think the problem with um, these comic book films is that instead of doing like quality fun films it's quantity they are like just oh, chucking them out i watched i can't remember the numbers but i watched a video the other day where it was showing you know from like when iron man started up to end game it was like how many movies they were and then yeah. if you compare that to phase four there's so many more movies now and tv series yeah. and it was just like it's just too much. that's why it's, yeah it's just too much so like, i think you might be right about the the film because i was thinking about it and i was like man I loved watching certain films now. Like you said, Marvel and stuff. And I'm like, certain ones were fucking great to watch in the cinema. But now there's just so many eh, films yeah. that I have no doubt. Like I'd rather just fucking sit at home and watch them on my phone like this. There's just nothing that's hype. That's the problem. No. What well, can you think of anything that's coming out that's hype? Literally Mate, Avatar. Like for cri- I'm looking forward Christmas, to Quantumania. Right? It's the only Marvel film I'm looking forward to. And that's just because I like Paul Rudd. Yeah. I watched the new Puss in Boots film. <laughs> I, mean, I can't phone. wait to see that. I, I, you know, I found a fully legal <laughs> way of watching it at home on my phone. It was fucking slamming. I really enjoyed it, but it was it. You know, I don't, I don't know if I'd want to go to the cinema to watch it. But it was like a, it was a mm. good film, and I, I watched. I don't know. There was a Dragon Ball film I watched before it, and I, like, I fucking proper enjoyed sitting there, and it, it would be nicer to watch it in cinema. But it's just a pain in the ass to go there to possibly, because I, I think it was when the last Spider-Man film came out. I was watching it and there was a group of kids who were sat like in the corner talking all the way yeah. through. I was like, oh, this is just pissing me off. I'm just, I just want to fucking sit here and watch a film. I don't want to. I don't want to hear Johnny's conversation in the corner about how oh, you finger blasted someone. <laughs> like, I just. <laughs> This is why I think with Kyle saying they took that bit in the wood, you know, we which was the time was the only way you could do it in Cardiff, and you could yeah, get away from all that crap because you had. I really, I really like the gallery. I love sitting there with my fucking cheesy nachos yeah. on a fucking leather couch watching a film, and not squeezed up next to people. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's the thing: it's not being squeezed up next like, to somebody. Because like cinemas, you are literally just like fucking cattle just slammed together to watch a film. Well, we watched the One Piece film recently. I loved it. It was fucking great. It was a little yeah, loud. Yeah, because it was like eight of us in the cinema. Yeah. It was like... It was very had, loud. I remember my ears ringing when I came out. Well, you and Ebs came out and were like, oh, my ears are ringing. And I was like, oh, I'm fine. But that's probably because I'm old. Like, well, not older, but my ears are fucking older. So I, I need the loudness. <laughs> to His ears ear. aging ahead of him. Yeah. Like, Mate, my, my ears are fucked. Sounds I'm like, like is I, that quiet for you? <laughs> I basically have 90-year-old ears at this point. I'm like, huh? <laughs> and I, I loved it. It was fucking great. And I think part of it was because there was, as you said, eight of us in there. Yeah, especially I, having loads like, of space. I can't remember form, spoiled for you, the last know. film I watched. <laughs> in the probably one of the Marvel. Oh yeah, that yeah, too. I, I think I saw the fucking zombie Doctor Strange thing. I haven't that, seen that. That, that was one. really a really strange film. They like, could have done so much more with the multiverse and except they picked the shit as things. They, they, they had this character who could basically like skip into different universes. Mm. And they didn't really use it as much as I thought they would. I I don't like the way they're going down with the whole incursion thing with Marvel at the moment. Because in the comics, I, I'm sure the incursion started when one Earth hit another Earth, like through with somebody using the Infinity Gauntlet. But this one's like, oh, if you multiverse travel, you're breaking down like the stuff. If you know what I mean, and that yeah. kind of really just I, I hate when they go away a bit from the comic book. It's like I think. The comic books had it slamming. I think the problem, the like problem is writing. there, right? It's, is that the only, the only issue is that, you know, they'd have to introduce the Infinity Gauntlet again and it's already done. Like, yeah, it works in the comic books because in the comics books, you know, if someone dies, just bring them back. You know, if something well, like the Infinity Gauntlet worked, bring it back. But the multiverse is now going to be this, isn't it? Tony Stark's back, so it's probably an alternative Tony Stark. Or it's going to be like, this person died, we'll bring them back. It's because... probably going to be a villain, Tony Stark. It's harder to be interested in the story though then, though, isn't it? When like anyone can come back. It's well, I watched like... the first Doctor Strange film, I don't know, a couple of months ago. I hadn't watched it before. 
and the villain was himself, but like a bad version. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, all right. It's not not great, but it was all right. But I, think, I w- the multiverse of fucking, I don't know, whatever. I, I Loads of people were saying it was going to be the next horror. It was going to be horror of Marvel. And then it came out and I heard nothing. Yeah, the, so um, I was like, oh, okay, I guess it wasn't If you good. watch What If, the villain was also... Doctor. Well, his, his villain in that one episode was himself. I'm not surprised. I, I, I mean, he can fucking control time, can't he? So... No, that was scary though, the way that ended him. though. The what if one was the way the one the Doctor Strange one ended was quite scary about how his obsession basically made him the last person in, in the universe. And then the watcher just let him sit there like oh, that's <laughs> kind of fucking cool, huh? Yeah, like honestly the what ifs are the, the what ifs are amazing. Because the zombie one was really fucking grim. Yeah. Like the zombie I was, haven't seen it. The what if Marvel zombie one was grim as fuck like the way it ended. I want to watch it now. The what ifs it's, are good. It's good. It's really a good. TV series, right? Yeah, yeah but it's cartoony. I watched yeah. a couple. I think I watched the. I can't remember what it was. I don't know, like episode two or three. I skipped the first one because it was on about Captain Carter, and I don't give a fuck about. It. Was that what if was it? Yeah, so I was like, I don't care about it. They seem like their own like unconnected episodes, but the storyline follows the Watcher. I think I watched the Black Panther one because mm-hmm. it was the last performance. I can't remember his name. That's the one. Uh, the last performance Chadwick did before he passed. Oh, okay. And it was it was fucking good. It was decent. And uh, I was like, huh. And then I watched the next one. Yeah, you like, want to right. you want to watch all of them because you know there is a story to it. It's not just some yeah. random series of events. Where, well, uh, where are going to bring Doctor Doom in? That's the one that I'm because he cool, oh Doctor Doom. We've seen some of like the dialogue he has in the comics. It's fucking cringe. Um, what Doctor Doom? Doctor yeah. Doom, like so cheesy. I mean, comic dialogue is cringe anyway. It's... Yeah, but, but like apparently that's Doctor Doom's thing. Like even to modern day, <laughs> I like I that though. Doctor He's Doom. fucking. I'm a bit cringe. I'm like Doctor Doom cringe. I don't think Doctor Doom just says like really like one ass badass lines. Like if you know what I mean. Like yeah, I think that's cringe. I mean, I think <laughs> Moon Knight. <laughs> Moon Knight had a similar thing. Would be good, wouldn't it? I don't no, know why yeah. I fucking nah. started doing it. Mate, I love the old Fantastic yeah. Four films. I was like, hoping they would be in the movie. I, I was hoping they'd be in it. Like, I was yeah. like... Well, the oh, one guy was, right? The, uh, yeah, but he's a different actor. Same actor. But... Different actor. Oh, I thought... Isn't one of the actors from uh, yeah, the isn't Fantastic he, Four isn't films? Isn't the actor in uh, the, the Doctor Strange guy, film? Yeah, the yeah. office guy. He's yeah. going to be... Uh, no, John they're actually saying fucking what's his name? The feed is that it's Adam Driver. I was said Wachowski. Oh, I was it? like, nah, that's fucking Mike Wachowski. Like, huh? Krasinski, yeah. yeah. John. The gym from the office. Yeah. Um, oh, I thought he was going to be... Don't know. Oh, okay. Probably. I'd uh, imagine something about would. like, uh, I don't know, with Fantastic Four, like the stretching limbs will always be like it looks too weird. uncanny. Well, they have it with Miss Marvel where she can do that. And then they brought out a TV series about her and her limbs don't stretch. Yeah, they changed it. Because again, it's it's uncanny, isn't it? It's... Yeah, Camilla can. Like, uh... Yeah. Well, she's quite a, an interesting character, but... I enjoyed I the know. series. It Hinted right. it's mutants coming in, didn't they? That's what the hint was. Because they, they didn't have the ego, do 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 Or something yeah, like that at the I end. Like... There's so many TV series. I'm mm. like, can't be honest. Well, can't be asked a... to watch She-Hulk. Can't be asked to watch this. They're changing their plans now. The they're changing like phase four and phase five plans because basically like People everything is not doing that well. Kang is fucking shit. Like Kang is such a shit. Isn't fucking... he meant to be? I don't know. People keep talking about how good he is and oh. how they can't wait for him. And the comic hype he's him. amazing. Like, yeah. but <laughs> I think that's it. Is everybody's like, oh my God, he's fantastic in the comics. I suppose what's like... weird about Kang, unless they do like, or Kang rather, sorry, unless they do something different in the film. But I don't know, the, the big bad just being a guy. Yeah. Isn't as cool as fucking big old purple Thanos. Mm. But they bring Galactus in, bring like the proper Galactus in. Like, I, why have they not done like brought Galactus? I never understood because I think the whole thing with Galactus is pretty cool. Like how he's a necessity for a universe to go and eat planets to make sure it's balanced, right? Because that's what the theory was. That when Thanos snapped his finger, it could have brought Galactus in to maintain. Do you know the whole thing is, well, he snapped his finger in like a billion years, the universe is going to be depleted again. The whole thing was they're saying that technically could Thanos have willed in. Um, Galactus to bring balance to the universe. That'd be interesting. That, I thought that was quite a cool idea. But wouldn't be, then, it wouldn't be a very good film if he snapped his fingers and nothing happened. He went, right, see you later. Yeah. <laughs> see you guys. He's like, huh, nothing happened. And then some dude rocks up and goes, oh. there's, there's, <laughs> and he, he too. There's like, so oh, much great. stuff. Like, his Ink 4 touched on, was it Infinity was in there or, or something? Like, they, I, don't know. I don't enjoy though, like, 
multiverse and fucking time oh, I really, I really, enjoy, I, I really liked much. the idea of the blip. I would have loved a, a non-superhero -super drama about people being re reintroduced into life. <laughs> well, there's that thing where people are like, they're like mid-sex and then they come back, <laughs> like they disappear and they come back and they're like, oh, <laughs> they're like, oh. they just come and they're like, oh. <laughs> and they, there's, there's like, I don't know, some old ladies moved into their house and they're like, oh. What? I don't know what's going on. Your uh, deck just appears in some fucking mouth. Yeah. Like, you're like, if I eat some cereal, and all of a sudden there's a cock, and you're like, oh. you've, been, you've been masturbating in your bed, but like since the five years, they changed it into an office building. <laughs> <laughs> you come back, and you just fucking jerk it off on a you desk. You come back, and you come back. <laughs> like, like, they, they came up with some bullshit, didn't it? They were saying a bit like, if people were in planes, would they not fall and stuff like that? But they were saying that when Bruce snapped his finger, he willed it, that people were like, that would be safe and stuff like that, you know? <laughs> I want like, all so these people to disappear. Yeah. But still be okay if they come back. Because <laughs> imagine coming back. Yeah, I'm back. Then you're just up. In the I don't air understand why they had to, to you know, um, explain that away. Because like when they blip people out, planes flew into buildings and shit. You know, yeah. like mm -hmm. I think you see a scene when a helicopter goes yeah, into a building, right? Does. Yeah. That killed people. Yeah, yeah. So it would make sense that when people come back, they'd also die. Some people will probably die as well. It's savage. It's quite funny sure. that, as you said, they have to explain it away, and they're like, "Well, all these people die all the time." You know, so like. You know in um, like Minecraft or something where if you do the wrong coordinates and then you're in like soil and then you like die. <laughs> you imagine imagine like, you flip back you, and there's now a building there and you, you <laughs> spawn back in the wall. And you're, go, you're, oh going for, you're going for a swim but like the country recently extended the, uh, That's what I mean. the harbour <laughs> further outwards and you're just in concrete. <laughs> <laughs> you just trapped there like... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. You'd be dead know. on arrival. <laughs> yeah, you would be. Oh my god. That'd be kind of grim. They're like, oh, we gotta dig up some of these, and there's just some dude fucking dead like that. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> but mate, there was a video I watched. Not you get quite blipped the same. as you're bungee jumping. <laughs> <laughs> there was a video I watched recently with a bunch of firemen around a pipe, and they're like trying to like pry the pipe open, and they start opening it, and it's just like this big, I don't know, like pale thing and they're like what the fuck is that they pull her up more this one dude like yeah what, what i've seen that one. he's like hot, basically naked in the pipe like that <laughs> imagine that but with the blip they reappear and they're like strapped like trapped in a pipe uh, oh christ oh all right so this isn't this isn't funny this is kind of weird but it reminds me of it there was a there was a report of uh oh i think there was a story in japan where you know how the um so in Japan, a lot of their toilets used to be, might still be, where they go to the toilet and it goes into like a hole in the floor and then they pump it out, out like outside it. I say mm. a hole, like a tank. And they pump it, like the people basically, like people will just drive up, pump out all the sewage and like fuck off. And that's how they deal with it. Mm. There was a, a thing before where this woman um, was going to the toilet and like, I think they had to like squat or something over them. And then she was going to the toilet and she looked down and she saw eyes and she was like, what the fuck? Turns out some guy crawled down into the pipe to look up, frozen to death in there. So he's just like, in the pipe, <laughs> like in, yeah. just to try and have a look. Well, some guy and he crawled went into, into a tank of shit yeah. just so he could peep on people. Yeah. That's oh, and then, to and peep on this woman. Death. Yeah. The funny thing about it is she went on holiday before and she came back. Yeah. And saw the corpse. So he crawled in there, got stuck, never saw anything. <laughs> so not only did he die right. in there, so he went in, died, didn't see anything, and just froze to death in there. Was this sorry? Was this her house or was it like a public? I think it was like a flat or something. I think it was okay. yeah. It was because he always had a septic tank, and he couldn't get back out because when he got through, he couldn't bend back. Well, he got, they it yeah. said they froze because of all the like piss and shit that was in there it was like minus temperatures so not only was it cold anyway but because of all the sewage that was there it was freezing temperatures so that all froze and froze him as well and i was like that's some I, serious commitment to the cause I oh i think like, i i don't know if she saw the face down there or if she was like my toilets like something's not right they can't like this isn't flush so she went and looked and saw like shoes or feet or something like that and i was like huh and then they called and pulled him out I found out there was some dude trapped in it. I was like, how down bad must you what be to do that? Like? And then to die as well. Wow. I know. 
Awful there. It's funny, though, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, the worst one is email. someone, uh, you know, in the Reading Festival. Yeah. Where um, it's a similar thing. Like there, you just basically, you're basically like shitting into a trough. Mm-hmm. And um, someone dropped their phone and tried to get it out and fell in and like basically drowned in the Wait, shit. Wait, do they actually? Yeah. What? Nah, <laughs> I, I can't believe that. There's got to be safety things in place for that. There's well, got... so, like with how busy it was, if someone fell in, you'd scream and be like, like people would be like, oh, there's someone down. But like they drowned, so it, they wouldn't have screamed. Yeah, you'd but just I guess you'd blah, blah, blah. scream on the way down. <laughs> you'd be like, ah! <laughs> and then, I don't, I think, died. I mean, like whenever I've tripped or slipped or something, like the most I've ever done is gone, uh, like that. So I feel like if somebody fell in a septic tank, they go, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. If I was falling down, I'd go, oh, shit. <laughs> I just, yeah. I'm in, shit. You were like, what kind of septic tank was it? Like, so it was a hole in the floor, yeah? So what, with Redden? Yeah. So no, Redden, they set up these like- um, yeah, They're like elevated. Yeah, big, con- it's like basically a big container with toilets all on the top where everybody, like you can go to the toilet and you can basically see other people's shadows through the- they all go into one thing. Wait, how'd you fall in? You must have just crawled in. Climbed like, up over and uh, like tried to basically climb oh, in. Oh, I don't know. Maybe like that. They tried to climb in. Yeah. Because they dropped their phone, supposedly. Oh, so they They're literally to get tried to get in the tank. Was like, you know, oh, drunk and all that, like. well, they wouldn't scream because their aim was to go down into that. So they'd be down in there anyway. But like, I don't know. Wading so, around and so probably drowning. They get in, right? And they're swimming in shit, right? So. I'm assuming they died of exhaustion. Like they got exhausted and drowned in the shit. Or what they do, don't know enough they crawl in, story to discuss they it, crawl like. in, they hit their head and got and knocked out. Like, cause Maybe. if you were in there and you're in shit and you're like, fuck, I got to get out. You'd be like, hello, I'm <laughs> stuck in the <laughs> shit. Imagine he was like, you, they were like swimming through it. And they got knocked out by somebody else's poo. <laughs> like came down, <laughs> maybe, knocked them on the head. Maybe, maybe like, they got in and they went. <laughs> <"Ugh."> <laughs> so suffocating from the fumes. <laughs> they, there's so many weird things that people have died with, like stupid, like when you actually think yeah. about it. There was yeah. that rugby player that died like with his dad as a farmer because Joe was big kind of like mills where they, they store the feed for the animals. Yeah. They went in to clean it and he fell in. But oh. it's like one of those things that's not solid. So he, st- he starts going under and he tried to get his dad to go in and save him and the two of them died out of three. No, oh, that's sad. Like, because he got sucked down and basically suffocated. I suppose if you wriggle in the grain, you just go deeper. Yeah, probably. I think there's a whole thing about it. Like, it's probably you like do quick quicksand. Sand, you got to just relax and try to... And just wait for light. somebody yeah. to pull you out. That's rough. But there's yeah, one where Josh... Sad, sure that's not, even a, that's not yeah. even a stupid death. That's a, that's unfortunate. That's yeah. rough. Mate, the stupidest no. one I seen was a guy cutting the pipe cutting a hole in a pipe and obviously when you open a pipe it sucks in fast and it's a worker cutting this pipe and then it falls in and he falls in and gets shot up and killed good lord have you not seen it it was on reddit it's no one, that's the, horrendous josh and me and all you can think about it is it's bang two seconds he's gone he's dead like that's insane and it was nothing, so like what what kind of pipe is it it was like a water pipe a big mains water pipe Okay, so, so, it's, so how do you get sucked in? Because seemingly, because it's a sealed pipe. I guess it's the air pressure. They, when you open it, the air pressure comes in and zooms back in. It zooms like air into it or something like that. I'll find the clip and you watch it, right? And I don't think it, I want to watch a guy die. I mean, you, you basically, you wouldn't see him. I be, do. Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> but like, I, I'm just, I'm confused, like how, this was his hands near the pipe. No, he, they, he, he cut. He was cutting it with a circular saw. Yeah. The bit gets the bit that he was cutting gets sucked in. Then you, it looks like he falls in. Yeah. But the explanation he would didn't fall in. He got sucked in. That's wild. So like it was a big pipe then. Yeah, it was okay. big enough to. Fuck, that's but rough. it wasn't. It, it would literally shred his body up by the sounds of it. Oh, the one oh, I saw I one which was horrible, it. which is basically a woman on an escalator, mm-hmm. uh, and it was I think it was in China, and that's the escalator cool. at the end breaks uh, and falls in nope. and obviously his rotors in there but like she throws her child out of the way but she goes in and yeah, yeah it's rough i've heard that but i i think i think the issue with the one in china was that there was no emergency stop button so they just watched her get grinded yeah. i don't know if it maybe it could have been fake but either way well, it was grim to watch it wouldn't happen in the uk we got too i many. remember all the stories when like uh, you know when you're kids and like you are your laces are undone did you ever have it with like your mum would be like Yeah, my, my mum was like Fuck get your laces sorted. They're like tie up your laces because yeah. if your laces get stuck in the escalator, it'll suck you right under it. I was always scared of that. <laughs> Same. Like, you know when you like go in towards the top and like you step over the bit? 
Yeah. I was always too scared to, because there's people who like keep their feet on it and then just Let glide out. Yeah, yeah. I was always too scared of doing that because I was like, I don't want to get hunger. sucked in. Yeah. Oh, fucking go. Oh. And then you realistically look at it and go, you can't get sucked into mm. that. Oh. The, the, worst, the worst that can happen is you get like fucking horrible pinches on your feet. Wow. Mm. Imagine one dude's like, sucked in, you say. Mm. Oh, <laughs> shredded cock. All right, we should probably uh, <laughs> maybe move on. Let's end on shredded dick. Yeah. <laughs> she stopped now. Go on, Glad. Do you want to give us a cool intro? Outro. 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 Cheers for into watching. The we, into we, the camera. Fuck you. Yeah, see? Done. Nah, into the camera. Just done it. So I'm walking away now. I hate you. <laughs>